Yo, what's up, everybody? I am Thomas Dopeziola, whatever you want to call me. This is the Dope's Usual Podcast. I'm here with my co-host, Marty O'Neill. What's up, folks? What up? Hey, guys, 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 let's get let's started. Go. All right, it's already smoky in here. Let's get started. Guys, this episode today is from... What, 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 I need to start writing these out like... Today's episode like Bruce Buffer or something. <laughs> Today's episode is with FKI First. First, thank you for being here, man. Thank, thank you, you for man. being here. I love y'all, man. One of the first people that's already rolled the fuck up. And I just cussed and we're we're in it's trouble. All right. That's all right. That's all right. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. So we can't good. I'm kidding. I'm oh, kidding. All right, all no, right, we just right, do no. this with YouTube. We just fucking yeah. we, sit, we sit here and smile out of the camera with thumbs up for the first five minutes or so usually. We, we try. Cats. We try. Yeah. Somebody <laughs> told me if you, on Instagram if you post cats, like a couple cats, you could post anything after that. Cats? Like, you know how you can have like a, a photo dump? Uh-huh. If you put a cat as your first oh, picture. Oh, and then swipe you can literally after. literally put anything <laughs> after that. Yo, that's kind of, that's kind of, okay. I have a homie that does weed shit and to stay monetized on YouTube, every couple of videos, he'll just read a kid's book and won't smoke. <laughs> so the algorithm's like, no, he's fine. Mm -hmm. Bam. And then he just jump starts his shit back. He goes back to his <laughs> he goes back to his trap tells. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So real quick, just so uh, we can give everybody a little background on you. A lot of people may have, all right. A lot of people know your art, know your, know your work, but might not know the person behind it. Yeah. And that's usually where where it happens, man. It's like nobody knows the offensive coordinator that much, but he is the person putting this play together. He's shaped careers of all the superstars. That that's you know. the way I see it. It's like the mold. It's like the artist that's molding. Like, no, try this, try that. And I didn't get it until he explained it to me. I didn't realize producers yeah. are the they are the artists molding. I didn't know that until two years ago when he showed me he was doing music. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I didn't. I thought a producer was like a guy like yo, it sounds great because you it, know in the movies, yeah, you, know, you just see the dude. Mm -hmm. And it extends so far beyond just making beats. It's the quarterback of the whole operation. It's making sure the job gets done correctly. Yeah, well, like when Omar sent me his first song, I'm like, oh, that's cool when he made it on his, and then you took over it? Then I thought, wait, he's molding the song? And then he was like, yeah, he told me to make my voice here and try to do this here. It's more of like the, the orchestra guy. That's exactly. exactly what this is, right? Mm -hmm. See, I didn't know. I'm not, I mean, mm -hmm. you got... Almost everybody in this room is into music and does music except for me. So I don't really know the steps behind it, but it's so much more. So I didn't realize. So what? just for a few, I wrote them down because there's so many I couldn't really go it. I couldn't really do it all. But what is it? White Iverson, that damn song that every girl in every fucking state always sings, the A-Ladies okay, one. Now, Jesus lady. Christ, yeah. bro. Is not is it hit after hit? I get it. I understand. Did you have to eat shit? To get there, did you have to like be, hey man, go get some waters and shit, then come back and you can fuck with the boards later? Did you ever have to be that intern guy? I mean, yeah, <clears throat> I feel like to make it in this, whether you're the biggest rapper, biggest producer, the biggest CEO, you're gonna have to be on the other side. You like, you have to see both sides, mm -hmm. like, that's the only way you respect it, really. So it's like, of course, when I was coming up, I was. Working under other producers, other engineers, other rappers, just trying to make that shit sound better. We're really learning from them, really. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Trying to like see what they do, just trying to help. I always felt like if you, if you in a room, no matter if you feel like you're not, if you feel like you're the least important, the most important person, just bring some help. Bring something to the room mm -hmm. wherever you go. Mm -hmm. Just bring something like effort. Just so, yeah. something like yeah. do something like mm -hmm. just always always be doing something whether it's that thing that you came to do music just helping the room bro but just I don't know but what was the question again? <laughs> <laughs> so how does it feel to, to see your uh, oh no that's uh -huh. not what it was I'm already high I guess. Yeah yeah. That was my next question my question originally was people might not know the artist behind the artist yeah, I guess right. you could say it so I was trying to say a few there's just too many men so I was just saying a few of your credentials to let people know like oh this is what we're doing today mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean like exactly. oh so this is what we're talking about today because I know people just got hyped just thinking about that yeah exactly song I've, I made a lot of stuff with Travis Scott classic I feel like makes Travis the classic Travis Scott songs uh, Drugs You Should Try Sloppy Toppy R.I.P. Screw 
just about every album and every project. Travis Scott, Post Malone, Two Chains, Watch Out Little Bitch. Um oh, It just keeps man. going. Yeah, man. I don't know. I just feel like God put me here to just I'm like a I'm like a season to people, but a good season. You know how like people could be like I had something. He's in and out, he's gone, but like nah. I like I feel like I was put here to drop into people's lives, sprinkle a little drip, and I'm mm. gone. That you sounds think. cool. Play your role and but do yeah. your thing. But yeah, when I'm on my own path too, though, you know what I mean? There's it's a lot, it's a lot going on, man. Two people I look up to, especially in Atlanta music, probably like two chains in future, because of what they did and the the route they took, the time it took. I look up to both of them, man. So like that's that's my next path, man. I'm trying to, you know, going for the, the biggest artist. You already already did the producing shit. Mm. Now I gotta put Oh, yourself. Yeah, yeah. I gotta produce myself, man. I gotta put the battery in my back. Cause when I was over there the other day and you guys were at that gigantic ass Metallica studio, the one you guys are at. <laughs> that one. I noticed you were yeah, you were on the microphone. I'm like, since so he makes Oh, I didn't uh, yeah, huh? Okay, yeah. this is for you. What's crazy, bro? I have always made music, but it was like I'm not gonna say I was insecure, but I was like always too nice and humble, like Say, like, I'll have the greatest idea on a song and then be in the studio with somebody. I know I should keep it and do this, but I'd be like, yeah. you want to hear this idea? Yeah, Just yeah, give yeah, it away. Yeah. I don't know why. I don't, can't not tell them. I can't yeah. not tell them. It's the <laughs> yeah. craziest shit. Uh -huh. But I've been working on it, man. You know what I mean? I've been watching. Yeah. I've been watching my Kanye documentaries. And my I was just about to bring him up man, as a like, reference because that's what he did. Like, yeah. he did the blueprint. He did so many behind the scenes things before he ever, before he put out Jesus Walks and his album. Like, there was a whole stretch of his career that people today probably aren't even aware of. You know what I mean? Like where he was behind the scenes, adding value to all these other superstars and gaining his own work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you wanna know some crazy, some crazy shit about this? Why people know like they've heard my production but don't really know who I am. I have this like flashback all the time. Look, like eight to nine years ago at, at Sunny Digital's apartment with Metro Boomin and a couple other producers there, Sunny Digital was like, hey bro, you need a tag for your beats, bro. Beast is too hard, bro. Why don't you have a tag? I'm like, I can't find one, Sonny. I, I, I can't find one. I don't where the fuck are y'all getting these tags from? But that day, oh, it hits me every time. Every time, so I, I've never forgot his words. Like I could see it, put myself like in that room yeah. and see everybody. Because like a lot of the Atlanta producers came up. Like we came up together. Like speaking of Sunny Metro, uh, TM88. Even Wheezy, bro. Wheezy had one of the greatest come ups I've seen. He would just always just be in the room. He wouldn't be bothering anybody. It's even back to like T.I. days, like when he was just young. Like, shout out Wheezy. Nah. Wheezy out of here where the camera's at. Yeah. <laughs> but all the Atlanta producers, bro, it's just like a, a community. And like, we can, everybody came up. Beautiful thing, bro. But yeah, I just didn't have a fucking tag. How'd you get it? Huh? How'd you get it? Who made it? Now I have a tag. Jerry, Larry, I said Jerry June. <laughs> Larry June did my, my first tag that people noticed. Remember the old one, yeah. He was saying, like, good job first. Yeah. Even though people thought it was saying, bitch, I'm first, but it was saying, good job first. So it was Larry June. And um, after he did that, I kind of just ran with it. Now my name's good job first on a lot of stuff. So shout out to Larry June. But now it's um my new tag is first and geeked it up. Y'all are going to be hearing it on some songs coming okay. up. I've been nice, working. man. Yeah. I nice. got some new stuff with Draco the Ruler coming out. Um, R.I.P. Uh, Ralphie, V's, PZ, Jack Harlow, beautiful. Nice, man. Well, well, the first time I ever came, we'll say, we won't say what year it was, a long time ago, I walked in with some weed. I looked at, the, I was telling him the other day, I walked in and just saw so many platinum albums. Like, yo, where the fuck am I? Because I'm from, nobody make, nobody does shit where I'm from. And especially not just being a weed person, you don't see things like that. So when I walk in, I'm like, it's different for me. I mean, you guys get it. You guys do music. I understand that. You're like, oh, yeah, he know he produced this and produced that. Once you start seeing credentials and start going, wait, how do you have the time to do all this shit? Like, this is what I do. And I, it's like my, me busting out videos. Like, mm -hmm. it's my baby. This yeah, is what I've been doing. Yeah. So when I see the sheer number of fucking over and over, I just see all of it. How does that go from when you started? Because I, I have a question. Um, Cause you're from Atlanta, I get, I understand. Who, where is it? Your family? Who in your family? Cause it always comes down to that. Every artist I ask, where did you get the spark? Was there an older uncle or an aunt that just loved music and you just got stuck? My on my the African side of my family is from Liberia. My uncle was actually a um, 
he was actually an artist in Africa. He was, he was up to, he was like real lit, especially West Africa, like lit as fuck. But um, I always saw his records at the house and my pops, bro, for African dude, my pops had every vinyl still. Like to this day, my basement right now from Led Zeppelin to Bob Marley and the Wailers, like everybody, bro. Every, that's what I first saw. I remember being in my basement. <clears throat> I picked up a Queen album. I didn't even know who the fuck it was. I just picked up the Queen album. I just saw it because the four dudes on I'm like, well, let me listen to this real quick. I put it in, bro. I never forgot this day. I put it in, that shit went do 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 And I was a little kid. I ain't never heard that shit before. You know what I mean? You'll hear it later as you grow up on TV and shit, but I heard it myself. I pressed play myself. I was like, what the fuck is this shit? Oh my God. That was just one random song. That happened to me a lot of times. Like, so like when I make music, I just try to give people that yeah. feeling, like, cause you all remember like the first time you heard a five song, like for or, sure, or like your favorite song, of course. I so I just try to make do that every time. Mm. Yeah, That's something to resonate. Yeah, yeah, you gotta feel that shit every time it start. Love yeah, it, yeah. man. So you saw your uncle. So you see him like you got albums. What the fuck? And he's popping mm-hmm. he, in another country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He 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 actually died though. He he died in Liberia. Um. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's crazy. You look it up. I'm about to put his uh, all his music out on like iTunes and shit. But go watch that Vice documentary in Liberia too. If you oh yeah, seen that shit. Liberia's oh crazy, bro. Liberia is one insane. of the craziest places on earth. It's in safest area. But it's a beautiful place too, though. That's the crazy. You ever been? Because it's nah, I haven't. Because we've. Uh, it's like when like to go back. It's just like a lot of shit going on, kind of like on and off, on and off. So I just ha- I just haven't been, but I plan on going like real real soon. Though. That's tight. Yeah, yeah. Especially to have roots in another place like that that you can actually go back and see is so tight. Yeah, I think I got a, like a diamond mine there or something. Oh, shit. <laughs> I got to find that hole. You inherited it. <laughs> I got to find that bitch, bro. <laughs> shit. All right. So, quick question. I have somebody uh, I wanted to ask. Who does this person mean to you? Because I got it. Marty, uh, can I, help can me I, out. Do it. Okay, because this relates to me. I came up in music, heavy duty, like mm-hmm. out of Buffalo. And one of my producers, my main producers that I worked with was like, my best friends. He um was my god. He's my daughter's godfather, technically. Oh no shit! Which is crazy because you know he lives in Atlanta now, actually. But when we were coming up, like, and it was like a lot of my boys, but like he would, he'd end up like sleeping at the uh, library, end up being out on the streets. His parents were super religious. Once we started going hard with the music, they like disowned him basically. Mm-hmm end up staying in my mom's basement. I'm not even living there. We're just, reco- I'm, I'm coming back to my mom's house. He's living in the basement. We're recording. And then I'm leaving. Did your going mom back. know he lived there? Yeah. No. <laughs> I was living with my wife now in her apartment. I'm coming to my mom's house. And he's, and he's, yeah, like, it was like that for months. And then he ended up going down to Atlanta. But we saw this video uh, of at Charlie talking about your story. And that when, I, when he was describing like what you went through, like your transition, that shit just like really resonated with me because like I we went through that same shit. Yeah, man. Shout yo, shout out Charlie first and foremost, man. His the way he's grown because like he's one <laughs> of the greatest managers in music, even though he retired from music. Mm. Like, so the crazy thing is, I'll meet random people that want to be managers and shit that want to do certain shit, but I'm like, damn, you're not even close as my boy Charlie, bro. Uh. Like, check this out. I'm telling you some crazy <laughs> shit. Random story about Charlie. Side to some side shit. His first. The song A Ladies that we did, those dudes, Travis Porter, we did like three other songs too, Make It Rain and a song called Bring It Back. But when we made those songs, bro, he drove, he started in Georgia, drove all the way up north, like on along the coast to every radio station, mm. even the bootleg, like the little bootleg radio stations in the smallest city and handed them the music, bro. He was gone for like a month, bro. Damn. <laughs> Dro- what year is this? This is probably like 2011, maybe 2010. Mm-hmm. I don't even know. The internet era, people aren't. Yeah, yeah. but still. Yeah, I mean, exactly. He was still, they were still taking Forward. over the internet too. Yeah. But he literally drove and shook every radio person's hand. I'm like, what the fuck, bro? That's some shit, bro. Yeah. People won't. It's dedication. That's dedication. Forrest Gump shit. That's dedication for your artist, bro. Yeah. People would never do no shit like, like that, bro. Like, literally. Dude, somebody will laugh if you. Yeah. They didn't even ask him. He just did it himself, bro. Yeah, That's somebody real, treating bro. it like it's their own. Like, Uh-oh. bro. And then after that, he did two chains. Bankroll Fresh, damn there, he damn there helped a little bit with uh, 
uh, young Dolph too early, early. But yeah, bro, Charlie a real one, bro. And is he? He's a motivational speaker now, or what is yeah, he? Yeah, yeah, he, uh, he's, he's got a million followers. Like, yeah, he's, he's in the motivation. I've seen him everywhere, Motiv- and then he showed me I'm like this fucking dude. I seen on TikTok all the time. Help mm-hmm. motherfuckers out. Right. Bro used to be yeah, bro used to be in the in the trap in the hood helping all the artists, bro. Mm. In the trap, bro, like no cap, like all in his mom basement. All the rappers used to come through his basement and do like mm. this podcast called like Spit Your Game. Like this is a long time ago. Mm. Soldier Boy too, he helped Soldier Boy. He was his bro. The Soldier Boy does Atlanta is he from Atlanta as far as music's concerned? Like does Atlanta claim Soldier Boy? I mean, a little bit, yeah. I mean, he he like from like Mississippi. That's what too. I'm saying. Like, he little, oh, but in my yeah. mind, he always came out of Atlanta. But I knew yeah, he wasn't slick. actually from Atlanta. Yeah, yeah. I, I always brought the like Soulja Usher Boy. too, right? Same shit. Yeah. You heard about Soldier Boy getting maced? Yeah, he just told me. <laughs> right? You were telling you me, Soulja, it's no, crazy, it wasn't me. Boy. Somebody oh, no. else was just in this room oh, talking me? about yeah, this yeah. shit. <laughs> he got maced by who? Right. Yeah. Uh, oh, you just told me by some guy yeah. that talks shit. That Charleston dude. Who is that? Who? What are you talking about? Is it the older dude? He like a he like a ratchet version of Charlie. He do like hood motivation in the speeches. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, dude is crazy. Like, he, he not crazy though. He be saying real shit. It's just everybody can't handle it. It just be like too real for his own. Oh head, no, no. He just says it like he wants you to punch him in the face. Over is it. he the southern dude? Yeah, yeah. I seen dude. him then. He was talking shit the yeah. other day about somebody. And they no, they was like, uh, would you take a hundred thousand to? Uh, to t- uh, sit down with Jay Z, or something else, he was like, "I take a hundred thousand. Fuck Jay Z. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. sorry, I'm Jay Z. You're great, but yeah, I- I'm, I'm gonna take that hundred bands. Yeah. Oh yeah, I didn't say that. Charles yeah. said that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll take it though. But Jay Z, the goat though. Yeah. <laughs> he laid the yeah. book down. That's Marty. That's all Marty. He swear Marty tried yeah, to yeah. get me into Jay Z. <laughs> But no, I played in my lifetime <laughs> buying one for him and shit. You know what I mean? Like imagine did. imaginary yeah, player, yeah, bro. Yeah, like it. Imaginary <laughs> player, look. Imaginary player set my life. Like, mm. don't be that guy. He talking about. What's the difference song, between the 4.0 bro? and 4.6? 30 to 40 grand cocksucker. Beat, beat it. it. Hey, <laughs> Damn, both you fools. He tried. I still. I, I only. I'm only two albums in, bro. Nah, I grew up on West Coast shit. Oh no, oh, see, yeah, 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 yeah. my mom's mad. I know she's watching. My mom was mad, ignorant. She told me yeah. Biggie Smalls can't rap and Tupac's nah, the best rapper alive. When I was a kid, I'm like, oh, no, I'm really? Biggie can rap. Really? So I never listened to until I was 19 uh, years shit. old. And then I realized, like, mom, you're a liar. Yeah, yeah. But you look, don't even know. But speaking mm. of up north New York music, though, I'm I'm from Atlanta. I live in Atlanta. I wasn't really fucking with it at first. When I first heard Jay Z and all that shit coming from, I'm like, man, what the fuck is this? I'm listening to Three Six Mafia and all yeah, this, yeah. all this shit from Atlanta. Mm-hmm. Key Pastor Lally, Troy, just, yeah, Pastor Troy, oh, all this shit. I'm listening to Hard. Talking about this for this morning. So yeah. look, I didn't really, so I didn't really understand it. But one day, it like clicked when I was like 17 or something, 18, like. One of his songs, he made a song called like Breathe Easy or something. Yeah, Lyrical I'm like, Exercise. Lyric, I'm yeah. like, oh shit, yeah. my bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like, my I look, bad. I looked up at the sky like, <laughs> I looked up at the sky like, hey, if this nigga can hear me or got it, send this message, my bad for hating. Like, I'm, I was Damn, stupid. That was deep into his career. Yeah, yeah. just circle back to like three or yeah, four Yeah, but then hours. after that, I went all the way back, bro. But it's like, he really gives you the blueprint to become rich and to be successful mm. if you pay the fucking As a self-made but, independent. And yeah. yeah, and I'm from the South. I wasn't even like, but uh-huh. yeah, he do. He laid that blueprint down. This shit crazy. Man, I remember when um, Memphis Bleak did that remix with T.I. Oh, I had uh, him down in, uh, down in Atlanta. Oh, he on that Atlanta shit. Yeah. Shit. That shit was my shit. Mm-hmm. That whole era, like, I put my daughter onto different eras of music every time we go to school and shit. Today we had Pastor Troy and Urban mm-hmm. Legend on the shit. Because... Atlanta had that whole era of like real legit music, oh, that, yeah. that classic era. But then, like Soldier Boy D4L came about, and we were talking about this earlier. It kind of made it cool to not be a rapping ass rapper anymore at that point. Or I, I, I get you say it was more about it like, diverted hip hop. You got to just get your cool off. Like, yeah, you gotta it just, became YouTube hip hop from that point. But yeah. so like uh, Atlanta, in my mind, took a lot of slack for like, like non-lyrical rap becoming famous but southern playlist of cadillac music aquamini like all those albums shit, like killer mike all that shit is just classic hip-hop right yeah, next yeah. to illmatic and all that other shit mm-hmm. yeah yeah sir but i just feel like i feel like in atlanta it changed like all right it, it was like what you were saying classic 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 but then it started get, it had to get fun though everybody started turning up because i feel like atlanta was always fun atlanta always had like ass shaking music like mm-hmm. 
we, from the strip clubs, twerk music. Lil John came yeah, out. Yeah, we are. Like, was that's one of my heroes. Look, yeah. look up the Lil John. Bia, Bia. That shit. Too hard. <laughs> Nothing like it before, though, right? Too hard. Now nah, they literally starting fights in the club. Like, mm -hmm. oh shit. Oh look. Oh wait, bro. When I was in high school and I used to DJ, bro. Like, if me and my friends wanted to go home, we look at each other Shut like, y'all ready to go, bro? <laughs> no, no, no. Y'all ready to go? We might have some hoses on. Y'all ready to go? All right, cool, cool, cool. I'm about to play headbuster real quick, cool. <laughs> and then it's just like you know, you just started to be like the whole club, and we in high school. Oh. Be some headbusters. That was, or nugget if you buck or something like that, and it's a wrap. Bro, it's a wrap. You guys want to go home? <laughs> we right. going home. That's fucking great. We going home. <laughs> Play the night ender real quick. Like where, where we was at, it was some dudes called ABG. Anybody get it? And they were just used to go to work. They just, it, they either they song come on, so other songs come on. If you that unlucky dude, you mm. and your friend, it's a wrap. It's your ass. I remember <laughs> one time we had a party in a, it's like either like a skating rink or ice, break, ice rink or something like that. Bruh. It was ABG time. It was my fault. I played headbuster or something. But they closed like the doors on the rink and just chased these the couple dudes and pop, boom, bing, boom, pop. Just to do it? And like a hockey hey, fight in the rink? You just got to get out the way when ABG go through. <laughs> but it was like that in Atlanta, just a certain place. Walking yeah. and them used to do that too, bro. When Walking and them first came out, <laughs> get the fuck out the way. Oh, yeah, I can see that. Get the fuck out the way. Yeah. Hit squad and them and brick squad. Like some mosh pit shit. It, yeah. it is. It, it really is like some mm. mosh pit shit, really. Like. Mm. Atlanta, in, in Atlanta and like Memphis and shit, it like it's slick as mosh pit shit. Technically, really. just hip hop. Really, <laughs> really, mosh pit shit bowls everything. Uh -huh. Yeah, just hip hop. But um, walking them, no, but they used to be whooping ass. But I want to get him on here. I feel like his story is great right now. Bro, I remember this one time I thought Walker was gonna beat me up, bro. <laughs> it's crazy, bro. Let me tell you, bro. Look, it's like six seven, right? It's the some first shit. time. It's the first time where I like got some real money in music, and I figured out like, oh. The money ain't always it. Like, you gotta have morals and everything. Like, for real, this is the first. Like, so look, I go to the studio with Waka and Gucci. And it's like after I just made Make It Rain, I go to the studio with Waka and Gucci. We make the hardest song ever, bro. Like, I sampled Cry Me a River Timberland and Waka and Gucci on it, the hardest shit ever. But look, the next day I'm at another studio playing it or like mixing it. Random as fuck, Ludacris walks in the room and is like, I want that song. I want Waka on there too. I'm like, wait, what? And like, like Gucci, like Gucci had snapped on it too. It was like, but he was like, and I'll give you $25,000. I was like, 25. Yeah. That was my first time ever hearing like, like for the other beats, I probably got like $1,000, bro. Like this man said $25,000 for one beat and he, go, he was going to have it for me in two days. Like, I didn't even believe it. I'm like, but then he really did for me in two days. I'm like, oh, shit. Had you worked with him before that or no? No, 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 no. That was the first time. So, bam, he takes the song. Walker's still on it. So, look, he calls, uh, I guess, of course, Walker finds out somewhere. Like, you're on the song with Ludacris now because he literally bought the whole song. Bro, Walker called me. I think my friend Quest called me from Travis Porter. He was like, hey, bro, Walker mad at you, bro. Hey, bro, that nigga <laughs> mad as fuck. What you do, bro? I'm like. Who, who, who I make mad, bro? <laughs> and I'm like, who I make? I'm like, damn. And so I'm like, oh my god, this shit's about to be crazy. Like, he nigga, ma nigga, like mad, <laughs> mad. They took Gucci off the song, and like he's featuring on the song. And it just met, like, it just Ooh, all happened so fast. Yeah. So, so damn. Fast forward though, video shoot time. I was gonna see him at the video shoot, bro. I ain't gonna lie, I was slick scared. Like we, go, but we get to the video shoot. But look, everything ends up being okay. Cause they paid Walker like a hundred thousand to do the video in the song, bro. So he was like, "Yeah, whatever." Thanks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got yeah, me paid yeah. today. Yeah. But look though, that we missed out on a classic song though. Like for real, this oh, this Gucci and gotcha. Walker song though mm -hmm. was some classic trap shit, bro. And I fucked it up over twenty five grand. I bro. get what you're saying now. Like See sometimes it's not worth it. You probably needed that then more than you need. Like I mean, that was That's like I can imagine that moment twenty five times your rate. <laughs> oh yeah, no, my brain. Yeah, yeah, I was like, slick still broke. So that shit was. Cr I'm like, what? You about to give me what? Mm -hmm. Yeah, just. Yeah. I can see. I get what you're saying. Yeah. But damn, it's like those man, budgets. Had a classic. Do those artists still get those budgets like that these days? Like they could just throw around. Like, I know it's not like. It I was. mean, you got. He was rich already. Mm -hmm. Ludacris was already rich mm -hmm. at that time. You got them walking coming out like. 
he was already filthy rich. That ain't shit yeah, to him. Yeah. To like, make a good ass song. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Like, he was already up. So wait, mm. you could be an artist. <clears throat> so walk, walk, right? He gets his song sold by you, and now he's obligated to go make the video. Oh, they pay. I mean, they paid him for it. I mean, if without it, could he say, I don't want to be on the song with Ludacris? Take me off. Is he allowed to say that as an artist? Yeah, he could, but I'm sure the same way I was like, all right. When they bands. say the honey, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so no, I, ne- I yeah, never yeah. knew that. Like, damn, you just got a call. You're mm-hmm. on a song with Ludacris now? Like, since when? So how does it work Shit. now at this level? Like, do people come at you? Do you come at artists you want to work with? Is it like case by case? Bro, I'm like a hippie with this shit, bro. I'm like, I'm like, one of my, another one of my heroes, George Clinton, I look up to him. He did, He make like group music, like. If you creative and you fire, shit, just be in a room at that time and that mm-hmm. shit, let's make some magic. That's how like I mm-hmm. am like day to day. But um, I just try to just stay around like cool, cool, creative people. It's like two types of people I work with. It's either, it's two, two things. Either it's the most far out craziest sonics and music you ever heard, crazy weird shit over there. Or it's the hardest, most authentic street shit. Mm-hmm. It's just those two things. Yeah. And over here in this genre, it could be anything, any genre. Like I, I can, I, I like making anything. I like collabing and like connecting mm-hmm. and everything. So those are the two things I like working with. Mm-hmm. If that makes any sense? Yeah, yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. So real quick to circle back, cause we're all high as hell. When we we're talking about your homie Charlie, so he's the one that helped you start up your career essentially um there's he's he's one of the three there's three people who helped me yeah, charlie definitely but it was more like we at that time we didn't even notice we were helping like each other and shit like because at that at that time i was i was mixing songs for like 50 dollars and like <laughs> damn near free most of the shit i yeah. was doing was free in atlanta yeah in atlanta so like, how'd you come across this person um, it was this uh, dude named Hank, Mr. Hanky. <laughs> Shout out to Mr. Hanky, a producer named Mr. Hanky. He, I just saw him the, like not too long ago, but yeah, he uh, he's the one who really, really put me in the in the position. I don't know where I met him, maybe a club or something. But my friend was like, "Yeah, he make beats and engineer all that shit. Y'all link up." So I went to link with him, and I link went to link with this dude named Mr. Kyle Park. I don't know if y'all know who that is. Mm-hmm. He, he was a, a legendary producer from Atlanta, but um, Mr. Kyler Park, I just, I was around them just watching shit. It let me touch the computer and shit. Other people didn't like, that was my first time, you know what I mean? Like touch it, like other than my shit, like I'm touching somebody else's computer working, mm-hmm. making yeah. some shit, touches. I'm like, oh shit, these dudes, they cool, bro. They let me do this shit. So they let me experiment and then they were like, then he linked me with Travis Porter and Travis Porter's manager was Charlie. And um, at that time, they were working a, a, a mixtape. They were making a mixtape with Waka called Streets R Us. And I started mixing their songs. I just started doing shit from there. And they would just link me with other people. I'm telling you, I was doing it for them. They're free, like $50, $100. Mm-hmm. And the first person to ever pay me, there was this dude named Rocco. Shout out to Rocco. He a rapper. I mixed his song. He gave me $500. I was like, damn. Shit. I was like, oh, shit. For real. Mm-hmm. This can happen. So then that's like when it started. Cause it clicked like, oh shit. I ain't asked for this. Somebody was just like, yo, you got to have this shit. You just snapped. So it gave me a little confidence, you know, a little yeah, battery. Yeah, of course. And then from there, it just moved on. And uh, yeah, I just always knew I, I, I wanted to be a producer and, and do this shit and make this shit. I just had to figure out how. Mm-hmm. Like I always tell people, if you don't know how, just find a way into a studio. Mm-hmm. You'll figure out the rest mm. from there. Like whether you're touching shit or not, just find a way into a studio. So that was the first day you weren't on your own. I mean, you weren't just by yourself. Yeah, you're yeah, like, I mean, show you what ba- I can fucking like do. A, here. Like a basement mm. dude, like you know what mm. I mean, or yeah. no bedroom because like yeah, it's just different once some, once you tech, just fucking with yeah. someone else's shit. Yeah. So, so when did you start start making music in general? Like because I know you said earlier, you see your uncle, you see him doing all that shit. Your dad has all these fucking mm. vinyls, which. What busted out some Queen is what I'm hearing, right? Yep. Mm-hmm. I, I get that because first time I heard Queen, I was like, "What do you mean he just killed a man? He's gonna go home for it? What is going yeah, on? Right, yeah, right. It like it broke my like, fucking yeah, heart." Yeah, as a yeah. I, I remember where I was mm-hmm. right before James and Giant Peach came out. Yeah. Bro, I was six years mm-hmm. old, and I remember listening to that song like, "You just killed somebody. Why are you telling your mom? What song is this?" Mm-hmm. 
fucked me up. You remember that? So I remember that shit. Yeah, it was it was here in Thousand Oaks when I lived when I lived out here. And um, so what's the what's the first time you actually touched music? You know what I mean? You're listening to shit. First time you get something and start, what the fuck is this shit? I started messing around with Fruity Loops like early. I don't even know what number that was. We on Fruity Loops twenty now. I think it was like four or five or Fruity Loops four or five. I don't even know. But this kid showed me in seventh or eighth grade. I started messing around with it, whatever. Da, da, da. But then in ninth grade, ninth grade, that's when I figured out, man. This when I, I knew in sixth grade I hated school, but in ninth grade I'm like, oh yeah, this shit sucks. I failed every single class, bro. Oh, literally, like. And I have a twin sister too that makes the perfect grade. So it was like mm-hmm. yin, yin and yang, bro. Straight A, straight F. Hold on, identical or not? Uh, fraternal T- okay, girl. Okay, yeah, got yeah. you. So uh, I mean, obviously not identical, but do you guys look? You know what I'm saying? Because I know one that's a girl and a boy, and they look fucking bro. the same. Bro. Nah, she look like my pops. I look like my mom. All right, I was say, damn, so, this was um, fucking up over here. She's killing it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, um, oh yeah, so so my African, well, African parents don't play that shit. Oh, I feel like all foreign parents don't fuck around with that shit, depending, I guess, where you're from. But they was like, you ain't going nowhere. I'm like, what you mean? Like literally nowhere. I couldn't go nowhere that year, not in ninth grade, that summer and shit. But I learned how to make beats though, free loops, because I couldn't go nowhere, but I could get on the computer. So it's like I literally learned that year, and then the next year they started playing the, all my beats and shit at the basketball games, football games, and they come out and shit. Oh yeah. shit! So it was like the, the start. That's start right there. right there, dude. Yeah. Especially when you see your own classmates, like fuck yeah. <laughs> so it started right there. I'm like, and I'm seeing people reactions like when they come out, like oh shit, they turn out. I'm like oh yeah, this is it. Oh yeah, this is him right here. So damn, you were young already, knew what you were doing. Mm-hmm. So then I, I just had that. to sit through school, like it was fucked up. A couple more years left, I, bro. I knew what I wanted to do, and I'm like, bro, what the fuck. And like I slip, I had to go because I have a twin sister because she going every day and she want to go every day. So, <laughs> so it's like I can't even skip really because it's like one person is there. You get what I'm saying? I, <laughs> like, <laughs> right? Look, my other friends could skip and shit because they was like the only child or the only yeah. person that no, grade. So but I got to call. We were fucking they're twins and we're like it was yeah. crazy. We're it was fucking fucked twins, up, bro. the same grades, probably yeah, in the same bro. classes. Yeah. And she trying to notice. show her grades. Yeah. She makes straight A's, bro. And oh, shit. And man, I'm like, that sucks. Uh, I'm so glad my sister was worse than me, dude. I used to be listening to the clock, like, bro. I used to hold my breath when I was a kid to see how long I could hold my <laughs> breath to pass time in class. Did you not do that? Nobody yeah. else did it? Oh, my bad. No. Fuck. Did I try? I don't know. A minute and a half, sixth grade. Mm-hmm. A minute and a half. Yeah. <laughs> bro, I was, 40 minutes go by fast. Because mm-hmm. you have to catch your breath for 30 seconds and then try mm-hmm. again. I'm telling you, I hated school so fuck. I was in all the accelerated Malcolm in the Middle program. Or right, like right. the smart kid bullshit. So they gave me more stuff. I fucking that was my hated sister it. was doing too. Yeah, I was your AP sister, artist, except yeah. I was you. Right. And your sister's bullshit. Uh-huh. I hated it, bro. Were you smoking weed in high school? Like, I was, but I didn't really have money, bro. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Like, to smoke, yep. like. So I was just smoking when it was there. So I was smoking bullshit, bullshit. But then I can't forget this day. <laughs> what was this kid named? I don't know. It was this white kid with braces in my neighborhood. He was like, my, you should, oh, come to my house, bro. We're going to be playing video games and shit. So I go, and his older brother brought some gas, dog. Dog, I had never smoked gas in my life. Like, it was gas. It was so beautiful. Like, I never <laughs> forgot that day. Like That day's almost the same as when I heard my favorite songs, bro. I smoked. I was like. Fuck is happening to me? But on some crazy shit, his brother also had ice and like snorted that shit. I didn't fuck with that. It was like, so the first time Damn. I found gas, I saw that too. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> I did not think this was gonna go. Crushed, that way. I yeah. he crushed some ice and snorted that shit. I was like, I'm not doing that. I'm gonna fuck with this right here. I'm gonna fuck with some weed. Damn, good, good. Look at the path. That could have been a different fucking path, real quick. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> That was a oh, fork shit. in the road. Yeah. You got to think of that, man. Oh, like, shit. Let me try. Oh, man, the shit. Decision. I that went was the right over. way over for you. See, he thought in his instance, when he hit that fork in the road, he hit the bowl, and then they said, oh, there's meth on That's it. what happened to me. I smoked some weed, and then they're like, oh, there's, there's meth on it. No. Shit. That was my path. Yo. I got tricked. <laughs> the wild shit about that, I've heard so many stories. Like I've heard stories like that everywhere, but a lot in California. Meth is like California, here, like smoking bro. a lace blunt. I be hearing that all the time. That I'm like shit. fools are tripping. Why would you want to wait? I, I think it's a waste of weed. Slick, the yeah. stronger drug is gonna win in this situation. Mm-hmm. What, they call it, what they call it? Getting wet? Yeah, I didn't know. No, the, the, I got my weed dipped. Yeah, I got my weed dipped 
and I took it, and I, that's the time I fucking, I thought I was having a fucking stroke in my dad's bathroom. Mm-hmm. I smoked some <laughs> some laced weed, dude. I couldn't make it up the stairs, and I, yeah. I my, my vision started getting like fish eye, and I was just starting to fucking hyperventilate in the bathroom, yeah. and I just laid there for like an uh-huh. hour. <laughs> that happened to me one time in life, too. I told yeah, you that in one instance. I went to the deepest, darkest depths of the east side, got the <laughs> shittiest bag of just dust weed. Oh, in New York. I was coming out of my body, man. Y'all weed was, horrible. Y'all weed yeah. was bad for a long time. Uh, yeah, and this is this is coming out of your body. Yeah, the, the it was horrible. Yeah. You get the, the Oh, you had a lace uh, blunt too? It wasn't regular weed. <laughs> I, I, I always remembered it forevermore. I was like, I feel like I'm dying right now. Oh, it was God. I felt like I was leaving my body. Like I was trying to I kept having I feel like I remember like holding the counter like Oh yeah, yeah my head I started dumped floating the shit away. in the uh, toilet. I hated yeah. it. My head started floating. was like Mr. Mackey in South Park. Oh, I, I think I'm psyched or something. I'll be mean, knowing I'm like. It's <laughs> laced. <laughs> yeah. Don't hit it. You fuck with mushrooms and all that type of stuff? Yeah, yeah we fuck with mushrooms and shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Omar told us about you guys' trip. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In the desert? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we made a classic song that last night. Mm. We made a classic song, bro. Mm-hmm. Nice. So it was we worth it. That's sick that you guys do that. Like, we were talking about it last time. Like, uh. What do we call it? Like a, uh, uh, a think tanks. Think tank, yeah. You know, you know, cool. you know what think tanks are? Like no, nah, what's that? It's like, I think it's kind of fucked up. I'm Nike. I'm going to go get the top six kids at this school with the best grades in this technology thing. Hey, we're going to pay you $200. Just, give, just start thinking of stuff. We're going to give you Airbnb, drink, do whatever you mm-hmm, want. Mm-hmm. And they own everything that you came up with. And that's how that's they come crazy. up with new technology. Mm-hmm. It's called a think mm-hmm. tank. Okay. And yeah. motherfuckers just giving away their IP and shit. Yeah. Like just chilling and shit. Yo, it's fucked up. This yeah. is companies like we spent a thousand dollars and made a billion. I fucking love mm. it. Yeah. So that's what I feel like. A think tank where everybody just gets but this one's a good one. But in the music world, it's like <laughs> this is you're tight. away from your kids and you're only focused on music. That's like the best that's like game time for a uh athlete. Mm-hmm. When you're just you have no no especially when you're like out in the desert or some yeah, shit. Yeah, man, really no interruption, man. Oh, for sure. There's no neighbors. Mm-hmm. No one's going to come bug you. Mm-hmm. That shit's tight. So before we started, you were like, we're going to have a smoke off and, and Molly. Yeah, he challenged you before this. <laughs> the Molly one was a joke. I know Molly you're Molly kidding. Joke. I know yeah. you're kidding. But speaking of drugs, do you dabble in psychedelics? Um, just always microdoses. Like, All right. When it comes to those kind of things, I like the microdoses. I don't like when my reality change changed too much. Like mm-hmm. I got you. You know what I mean? Because I you can't do nothing. Right, right, right. Yeah. One time I took, one time I took acid. This bitch at the studio turned into a witch. Oh <sighs> shit! And then my other homie, he was like, I said, "This is the ground." He was like, "This big." It was so scary, bro. Like it wasn't scary, but it was scary. And like, I just had to put my blanket over my head, bro. <laughs> like I do that. Many I just had to times. put my blanket over and just chill, like and just be. Just, Ride it out. Just close your eyes. So then I wake up. Well, I mean, I wasn't, it's not that I was asleep. I finally take the blanket off my head. I look outside, hours have passed. My homie, my homie McConan is just sitting on a fence. On a fence? Just looking into the sky for like four hours. Like, <laughs> and what was crazy, I, was, I saw him on the camera. I probably watched for like 15 <laughs> minutes. I'm You're like, watching him just watching the sky and shit. <laughs> Yeah, it's crazy. Psychedelics. <laughs> this fool's on one still too. Outside on the yeah. fence, sitting on a like a wooden fence. I'm just trying yeah, to imagine, yeah, like a wooden fence, like <laughs> like a cat. My one good kinda, mushroom yeah, trip. Yeah. I did that. I just looked straight up in the sky. Like I don't even know how long I was out there. Just 90 degree angle, just staring straight up. Coming out of my body is the most fun I've ever had in my life. Mm-hmm. Would you? Would Huge you took that fun. one shit? What's that shit called? What? I was about to call it DBIC. It's not called DBIC. DMT. Yeah. DMT. <laughs> no, I haven't. <laughs> Ted DBIC. <laughs> That's what I was thinking about. Was you take that million dollar man? He was hard. Yeah. No, no. Um, I just take big amounts of mushrooms. Mm. And at that level, like I start, I go in the dark, no music. That shit's scary, but it's mm. tight as fuck. Like I've never experienced something like that. Mm-hmm. Like I'll, I'll, I'll never forget it. So if you ever have some time, mm-hmm. eight hours of not doing shit. <laughs> Go in the dark and trip out. You I haven't done acid though. Wait, in the dark? Yeah, I turn all the lights in my room off. No music. You probably saw. So you probably you see what's in your head. It like projects out. Like when you close oh your eyes God, and you start dreaming, it. you start seeing what's in your head because your brain has nothing to process. It's the fucking weirdest mm-hmm. little trick. Mm-hmm. I don't know, man. It was the most fun I've ever had in my life. <laughs> I'll say that. 
And also the scariest time of my life. Yo, next time you do that though, turn on like on some speakers, go to YouTube and type in Hemi Sync. H E M I S Y N C. Just why you do that, next time just type in it and do I'm that. I'm gonna get right possessed. Now. Is that like it's, frequencies? Yeah, yeah. it's for frequencies and they split your brain apart. Like it it fucks with both sides. So you know oh, how to use both sides. What the so, fuck? See, uh, he goes deep in the audio. That's cool. Yeah. Because I heard about frequencies <laughs> while tripping and it could do some shit. Yeah. Hey, what's up, guys? Just taking a moment to talk about one of our longtime sponsors, and this is Manscaped. Summer's almost over. Don't be a dirty dick motherfucker. If you're a fan of the show, you already know Manscaped has been here since almost the beginning. Shout out to Manscaped, first off. If you have a dirty ass dick and you need to shave your balls, go to manscaped.com forward slash Yola. From that, you'll get 20% off of anything to make your dick not gross, plus free shipping. So guys, 100% go get the Weed Whacker, the brand new lawnmower, the 4.0 guys, skin safe, waterproof, has wireless charging, everything. There's no excuses, all right? Use it. Weed Whacker, nose hair trimmer, they have everything you can possibly think of, even deodorant for your balls. Manscaped's got everything you can possibly think of. And if you're a girl watching this, and if you don't have anybody in your life to get this for, we sell travel bags. If you don't have balls, you can still go to manscaped.com forward slash Yola, get 20% off plus free shipping. So from the ultra smooth package, the performance package to the weed whacker, Manscaped has something for everyone. Also performance package 4.0 or the platinum package 4.0, get any of those and get the travel bag and underwear, $60 value guys included for free. So guys, thank you so much for supporting the brands that support us back to the episode. Top five favorite rappers of all time. Mm. Top five favorite rappers of all time. Dylan, 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 Dylan. First, first, first. All right. Jay Z, Gucci Man, Too Short. Um, wait, Jay Z, Gucci Man, Too Short. I usually only have a top three. All right, I like this. Yeah, right. it gives you a little more range. Jay Z, Gucci Man. I always say Gucci Mane is like the same thing as Jay Z. He just from Atlanta, and he don't uh, he don't articulate it the same way. <laughs> That's funny. I was about to say articulate, <laughs> and then you said this shit. <laughs> yeah, but um, shit, uh, this shit's hard. Yeah, but uh, who else? Shit, I tell you what is fucked though. The way everybody uh doing them and them. What's what's going on? You know how like on the internet they be like. They don't, I don't like that Eminem disrespect. I haven't seen any of this shit. Oh, yeah. Well, maybe it's... I just get on my phone, post, I get the fuck off sometimes. Oh, yeah, So I haven't yeah, seen yeah. any of it. What but happened? Like, I, maybe it's on the on the black gram or the black Twitter or something. <laughs> like, the, it be the disrespect for Eminem. I'm like... Saying he's not good at rappers? No, nah, they do. They just, be, they just be going in. Like, we don't be knowing who he be talking about or be riding to it. I just, be, I just heard it. I'm like, I don't like that. Y'all better start disrespecting that, man, dog. Don't just off the strength of who he was, or yeah, are you still yeah, in tune yeah. with his current music? Yeah, I mean, yeah, his. I feel like his newest shit ain't the greatest. He still be like snapping, like because you know, what I mean, he's like a lyricist and shit. But like those those early albums and mm. early freestyles that just used to randomly come out, I'm like, <sighs> yeah, he used to be. Yeah. Look, when I say a top five, I feel like I have to qualify it by years. Like, give me like I'm including Slim Shady for his first three albums. I'm including <laughs> Lil Wayne's Carter era. Got you. But what's crazy when I include Lil Wayne, I don't even include the Carter era. Even that all happened, I fuck with Earth. Like the block is hot, Lil Wayne and yeah. five hundred and five hundred degrees, all that shit. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Even like yeah, Prior Wayne the that. goat too. Damn, I got. All right, all right, top five. Right. <laughs> Jay Z, Gucci Mane, Too Short, Kanye. Um. Ah, uh, and um. It. Future is one of my favorite artists, though. But it might be in here. Yeah. It's the hardest question. In Future, bro. And that's rap. That's the right top. Yeah, rap. Mm. Yeah. yeah. I like how you put effort yeah, into yeah, that yeah. shit, though. That's yeah. a big question. That yeah. shit is <laughs> huge. Bro, that shit is real, bro. People don't understand. You can, one, you can learn a lot about somebody from the question you just asked. Mm. Like, you can literally. I have like five different random tests. You can learn a lot from like, who are your favorite superheroes? Top three superheroes. Oh, bro, it's my favorite shit. What's your favorite weed is my my number one. Uh, I'll give it away. Fuck it. 
when I talk to growers or people that want to do business with me in the weed industry, I ask them, what's your favorite fucking weed to smoke? And if they don't say OG Kush, I don't fucking do anything with them. Why don't? Because most growers smoke so many fucking strains, and OG is going to be the strongest, highest punch mm-hmm. of most weeds. And if they don't say, I like to get shit face high after the long day, you're not a real fucking grower. That's all yes, I, I know it. Well, back to that, to, I guess you're right, because I was going to say the only time I do smoke OG is when I'm completely done with everything. Thank you. Every, mm-hmm. every, everything. I know I'm not doing shit, and I'm about to go to sleep mm-hmm. or just chill for a couple of days or something. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, like a grower. But I don't smoke kush every day. Yeah, a hard day's work uh, is a real grower. Mm-hmm. The motherfuckers are really working. Mm-hmm. So at the end of the day, I guarantee they want to smoke and go to sleep. So that's my little test question. So you say superheroes. <laughs> My favorite superhero is Batman. That motherfucker got no powers. Yeah. No, he's, <laughs> I hate that, that I love that. He's just, so much. Yeah, he's like a baller, though. He's like, they're just a rich. I think it was just Michael Keaton, and I was yeah, born like, in 89. That's just, really what happened. See, like, because you could judge a lot off somebody. Like, if somebody be like, Nightcrawler, you'd be like, What the oh, fuck? Oh, you a freaky Real ass specific. nigga, bro. <laughs> if someone said, like, Damn That's what I'm it. saying. You could, you could, like, you could learn a lot from somebody about who their favorite superhero What's is. It's a Nightcrawler. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. If somebody be like, Nightcrawler, you'd be like, Okay, you a freaky boy. Like, yeah. Yeah. Yo, that's such a good way to put it, man. Because Them, you're not wrong. Like Wolverine, you be like, all right, you a man. Yeah. Like, you're like, you're like, yeah. like, you like, you want to like, punch somebody in the chest. Yeah, like uh, I, I expect like a bad. I feel, I expect my bad bitch to be like Storm. Like Storm. They say that, I be like, all right, yeah, she cool. She Holly Berry play her in the movie. I was like, because of Holly Berry, is that why you said that shit? Okay, I, like I get that, but no, I fuck with that. That's a good. Yeah. That's a good question. All right, real quick, I, I don't even have this written down. You and Omar chill a lot, so I have a feeling you guys have a lot in common. What are your top favorite movies? You don't have to give me a top list. What are your favorite movies? And that's how I can tell who a person. Somebody told me their favorite movie. What was it? I think it was your ass, and I got pissed. Thomas was a cable guy, though. Like, he really. Oh, yeah, back, cable like, guy? That's me, man. You know, Except I'm not weird and shit. Same shit. Like, I grew up, my mom was like, hey, I'm gonna smoke this fucking Chris. Watch this shit. I'm like, hell yeah. So, like, I was raised on Sanford and Son and shit. And, like, shows, you know? So, what are your favorite movies? Like, top three. Right. You, you can watch forever. Top three movies I can watch forever. My movie genres are crazy, though, too. Because oh. I love horrible movies. I have a oh, genre. Like horrible or horror? Like, horrible. Oh, that's fine. I like, hate I have a genre where it's like, I love bad movies, too, though. Like, what? Like what? Let me tell my good first my all my right. favorite movie. Right, a Bronx Tale. Good shit. Nice. Yeah, bro. All right, a Bronx Tale. Good fellas. Good shit. And um, I want to say Casino, but you like Robert De Niro by chance? Yeah, he in all three of them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I guess I do. <laughs> but um, shit. All right, those three. I mean, there's more though. Of course, Friday, the Friday franchise. Yeah, man. Serious. It's I can watch it for it. I can watch it right now. You really can. You can. The best about all the Friday movies is when you haven't seen them in a long time. Like so, and then, and then you're you cracking the fuck up, <laughs> bro. That shit is amazing. Like that's inspiration. You find little things making, too. Bro. It's like what the fuck? Yeah. How the fuck yeah. do y'all do that? Like yo, one thing I saw recently on thank God for the internet. I watched Friday oh, fucking three hundred times. I couldn't yeah. tell you how many times. Did you notice Ezel in the very beginning when they're panning? He's running in the background with box with box. That he probably got fired. Craig probably got fired for, and this motherfucker's like, say, so stole some boxes. Oh, bro, <laughs> fucked me up. I saw it on the internet. It could, I could be wrong, but I'm like, yo, that looks like he's running with boxes. Is that at the beginning though? The very beginning, during the credits, when they're still panning over bro, the that's neighborhood. Cra- that's the craziest fucked me up. shit. They hard. Oh, too oh hard, God. DJ Pooh. Shout out to DJ Pooh. Yeah, You're a hard DJ motherfucker, Poo. man. DJ, bro, I've been trying to. I think I hit him up before. He probably like, who the fuck is this kid? He's cool as shit. I know. I've been fuck. trying. I've been trying to hit him up in Ice Cube because I want to make my next thing. I'm going into good gas films. That's what I want to get into later. But I'm like, I gotta talk to them first. I just want to see. Like, He's the man. You know what I mean, they the OGs on that shit. Truly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, dude, you can see that shit. That blew my mind. Twenty years mm-hmm. later, I've been looping this movie, never noticed. Or when she's calling him, talking about who the fuck were you with last night? There's a fucking dude in her bed. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't notice that for like the first three years as a kid. Damn, you were back looking for details. No, I just noticed nah, these things yeah. over time. Like, yeah, she was those toxic. are jeans. That's a that's a fucking dude in her bed right there. Oh. I didn't notice. I didn't notice. So Fridays, and then, pretty much all Robert De Niro's. So then, I mean, so I got my hood movie category and like bootleg. I love bootleg movies, B movies, all them shit. So like, Amazon got them all too. 
Amazon got all the bootleg movies. Uh, YouTube too. Like what? Like what? Uh, y'all seen Buffed Up? Buffed Up? Nah. Buffed Up. It's about, it's in Detroit, right? You know Buffs, the Cartier glasses, right? Okay. The whole movie is about some dudes trying to get some Cartier glasses to fuck bitches. Because <laughs> if you got Buffs in Detroit, you that nigga. So that's what the whole movie is about. And I saw it a couple of years ago. I ended up finding a, a artist from watching this movie. Like this artist named Cash Dog. I was watching the movie. She was in it. I'm like, her voice is hard. Wait, the one you work with, right? Mm-hmm. Ended up hitting her. <laughs> Shit. Ended up hitting her up, bro. We we got it, it's platinum. Nah, maybe it's, I don't know if it's gold or platinum. We got like two songs that went crazy, bro. Just from what, but shout out to hood movies, ratchet movies though. It was a good movie. Buffed up. What else? What else? What else? Um, buffed up. Shit. There's more. There's more. Talking about like C movies, like C plus yeah, movies. I get bro, you. What else we I'll be watching? But Buffed Up is like the top one right now, though. That's like the top hood movie right now. Nobody's topped that yet. Um, you see Conflicted? Which one? Griselda put out. Remember? You ever it was chill. It was that? cool. I, of course I that watched it. was amazing. It. I didn't get the only to thing it. I kept, I'm not going to ruin it, but the ending is one of the hardest endings. I, the movie's okay, but that ending. Pretty simple. Pretty simple. <laughs> Most Shit is un- crazy. unrealistic yeah. and most realistic yeah. thing I've ever seen. It's just West Side Gun sh- killing a person. Yeah. But like cinematically through the Perry Project. Oh my God, yeah. that was hard <laughs> as fuck. And then he buys an eighth. Yeah, he does. <laughs> buys an eighth. Yeah. Yo, you just gotta watch. Even if you just watch the end of the movie, just watch the last four fucking seconds. This is real right now. Beers? You know what I mean? I've always been a light dog. Yeah, man. Appreciate you. Rare. Got, you, got one, Marty? Oh, you had that one with the spike in it? Yeah, my can's about to explode. This fucking shit went that crazy. Shit was <laughs> Look at his can. Dude. Yeah, I don't know if you dropped. Yeah. For danger. You're going to die with that, that one. Can, yeah. All right, cool, cool. So you got some good movies, man. Now, does your top five artists, does that kind of extend into like who you'd like to work with in a perfect best case scenario? That wasn't top five artists. That was top five rappers. Rappers, okay. Oh, Excuse got me. you, got Excuse you. Me. This shit, I got genres. Break yeah, 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 I, yeah. I saw a little quote. I'm the Black Diplo. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, am, I am the black Diplo. Mm-hmm. One time I was like high, as drunk, late. It was probably like four or five. And more. I text him like, "Hey, bro, I'm about to be the black Diplo. I'm done running with it." And he was like, "All right, cool. All right, good job, <laughs> bud." <laughs> but yeah, man. Nah, cause like, I don't know. I just feel like I can make music with anybody, bro. And I hate when people put me in a box. It should be lame as hell, bro. Like, well, the first song he put out, bro. Really? I remember it sounded like eight bit. That shit was kind of hard though. And then what you came back with was. The, you had a foundation just molded that shit. And that's, mm-hmm. like I said, that's when I realized, like, oh, producers do this? Mm-hmm. But the crazy yeah. thing on Instagram, like, I hit up a, a fire artist, like, they might do, like, some, like, random, like, minimal, like, alternative music or something. Of course, they see my page, so they're like, oh, he's just, like, one of those rap dudes. They don't even know, like, I probably, the people who usually judge me on music haven't even worked with the artists I work with, like, bro. So crazy, bro. Worked with everybody from from the lead singer Coldplay. We were making beats and shit to who who else, bro? Like so many people. For, there's a there's a hidden J Balvin verse that's out too. Like, bro, we I made this fire song called Love and Hennessy with my homie H Child, but it, it was about no, I know what you're talking about. You know, H Child, yeah. right? Bro, J Balvin had a, got a verse for that song, bro. But he's sponsored by a different. Alcohol company. Oh, damn. No, a lot. Shout me a lot, J. Bobbin. <laughs> Shout me a lot. <laughs> but I got a J. Bobbin verse out there that's hard as fuck, bro. I'm like, oh, shit, man. I, I do me like that. But yeah, it's all good, though. <laughs> the yeah. song's hard, though, though. The well, look, song that's out now. Let's make it a Miller Light song. Get, there you get go. That Let's verse go. Back. So that's, all right, we're going to figure that out. I'm glad, see? I'm glad you said that. Yeah, there we go. Uh, but yeah, everybody, bro. I'm working with all kind of artists and producers from every range, bro. So, like, Stop judging me. Put me in a box, bro. Y'all don't even know, man. <laughs> yeah. So, wh- who who would it be? Like, if you could work with anybody across any genre, oh, like some goal artists, pick? musicians in general. I want to work with Sade. Damn. All right. Cool. I want to work with. Um, I want to work with a lot of the. I want to work with. You remember those uh, the the videos that used to come on VH1. Like those, all those rock songs before you go to school. Of I want to work with all them. Like fuel. Like now. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like all them now. Like, like Creed. I was, uh, 
Bro, I, bro, I'll get him to do an outro. That should be hard. Could <laughs> <laughs> I, I you to imagine? Bro, I get him. Bro, I, I'm trying to do the I mixes, actively bro. sing Creed around my house out of out of just fun. Uh-huh. So that would be fucking awesome. All the oh man, all the early '90s shit. Do you remember, man? MTV Sugar Ray too. Mark McGrath, that motherfucker's on TV. Yeah, he's, he's still, crushing it. He's yeah. still around, man. I feel like he still looks the same. He, yeah, I could be fucking wrong, yeah, but just so. in my mind, he would. Where the fuck's Carson Daly at? That's a great question. Yeah, where is he? Where's at? Carson oh. Daly for real? Damn, you want hey, you want one of these joints, or you get into the blunt? Oh yeah, let me get one. Let me get the blunt, bro. Oh, that. Yeah, and I just wanted to say how cool I think it is as an artist. I've I've come up. I've been a studio rat since I was a small child. Mm-hmm. The situation that you facilitated now with like. Omar putting him in position to like just have access and to be able to get in there and just get creative is like something that all people that want to do music dream to do. And then that just trickles down. And that's like, as an artist, that's just like a major way of giving back to just like where you came from to open up your door to people like that. Oh, yeah, you never man. see that. Like, I always, like, I always try to open my space to like other creative people, like other creative people and people who do like, I like mine. It don't even have to be music, just creative shit mm-hmm. from any kind of art. Just yeah, just put all those people in the same room, give them access. Because I know for me, I just had I just had to get in the studio. Like I didn't know how or when, but I just had to get in one. Yeah. And so yeah, so like, like what you said earlier. Always give people just be creative as long as you're around. If you're gonna mm-hmm. sit here, do something. Mm-hmm. No, as long as you're being productive, I think so too. Mm-hmm. But then again, I don't know. You guys know all the music shit. I was in the studio with you guys. It's like one of the other few times, a couple other times, that was it. So it's a whole different world. Like I told you when I left, we're sitting there, I'm rolling a joint. I look up and you're just doing this. Uh, hello low. And it sounds normal on the other end. Like, what the fuck? This fool's two steps away from me. I couldn't hear anything you were saying. And I can hear your music coming through. It fucking blew my mind. And that, that dude rolling around on the chair with 900 buttons in front of him. And that girl was singing... A fucking <laughs> verse and Omar's ass kept talking and fucked the whole thing up. That like, dude, that funny. shit's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. Like, how, like, oh, you're a musician. You can do this while you're just texting. Oh, you ready? You ready? All right, let's go. Like, what the fuck? It's so second. Like, not even me. thinking about it. I can sit yeah. down and just be like, hey, what's up? And one time I smoked meth by accident. Like, <laughs> you're like, that's my shit. Like, I can that's tell you a story in five seconds. How a guitar player plays a guitar. That's my shit. Happy story. <laughs> yes, I'm just telling you, let me tell you a story, man. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I like I just it's different for me and we've been on a streak like last week we had a GB he's a rapper out of Merced I'm from Merced like up in the fucking ghetto of California mm-hmm. and our thing is Marty Marty moved, do you, you probably don't even know Marty's story Marty why did you can you give him a little background on your music shit because I butcher it man I lived the plot to eight mile basically and I got a licensing deal with DJ Ski that led me to move out here about ten years ago mm-hmm. and then. I just put my all into like my drastic graphics business and podcasting and comedy. Started the podcast, now I'm circling back to music. Now we got a fan base to kind of slam dunk an LP on them one time. Gotcha, so gotcha. that was the tracks that I've been coming in recording with Omar and shit. So that's what we've been working on. A little three, four track project. I circled back to all my producers in Buffalo and shit. It's been pretty cool. Yes, sir. Yeah. But yeah, so that's why. <laughs> this fool does music. You do music. You do music. It's just, it's just different. Me as an outside, pers- like a spectator. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I love this shit. To, to see it be made and to see you guys effortlessly do this shit, it blows my mind. We were smoking a joint. Two seconds later, yeah. I look up, I'm like, oh shit, Marty's already rapping. What the fuck? That look, was iconic. You know that, was, that was the most viewed picture on my Instagram of all time. Or we're smoking weed and you're rapping? You're, you're looking like a fucking record exact. <laughs> I was just high. Yeah, like, yeah that, was, that was an iconic picture. But that, that felt great, man, to get in there and just have those vibes and like Omar was telling me this story that was Nipsey's old studio he's my all time favorite rapper so like to go in there and just I knew as soon as he said that I'm like I know this is right cause I was still not even knowing if I wanted to do it I just wanted to do it for the fans you know cause and, I, wait. and, and just cause I, just to do it cause I know that it's the right thing to do mm-hmm. but that's what let me know and then we just came in the vibes were just there like the last track we did we did in like 40 minutes that one's hard as yeah fuck. we may or may not be getting the mixed down version of that back tonight it might Oof. be there well yeah, but anyway, yeah, thank you for that, though, because that shit, like, trickled down to me, and now it's like, you know, who knows, who knows, man, but put me back in touch with myself doing music again, uh, yeah. getting back into the process. I've been so deep into all this other, like, kind of, like, art, you know, like, 
digital media, I call it. But oh, and one other thing. Uh, there I, you go. <laughs> here, you're a full cell grad. Oh yeah. Yeah, you yeah, didn't I mention was, that. I went there for a year. Oh yeah, I did. That shit was so fast, bro. That shit was fast as fuck. I, yeah, I, did. I lived in Florida for a year, bro. She was she was kind of weird. Cause that's the thing about full cell is that it's accelerated, right? So it's not like a regular college. Yeah, bro. You get uh, one class per month, and it's twelve months. Yep. I'm like like crack school, where it's like you're in there at two a.m. and shit, right? Oh yeah, you might you have a class at two a.m. What the fuck? Like two to six or two to seven or two to five. Something. For what degree? Engineer or engineer audio engineer. Oh, yeah. so this is all for arts, like yours was graphics. Yeah. I did it online um, for graphic design, mm-hmm. but it was like it was 32 months straight, no breaks. You get the degree faster, but there's no breaks. You did it online, yeah. Right. 32 months, Fuck 32 months shit. every month's a different class. How long do you gotta do the class? What's this class? What's full sale? What the fuck? So I know you said it before. It's just a college, like a trade school for artists? entertainment careers. And they got like Thank studios you. and shit. That, yeah, that's yeah. what I want. Yeah. That's what I want. Yeah, so a lot of people, like, every year, they'll be like, this is our people that graduate from Full Sail that made the latest Marvel movies and Pixar and that produced the biggest Grammy-nominated awards. You know what I mean? Like, every year, there's the whole class of people. Like, that's who... That's fucking tight. Yeah. Like, some X-Men or, shit. Yeah, like, even in, like, <laughs> entertainment, like, law and stuff like that, I think. But it's cool. Like, they... I'm still a part of that community. Bro. Yeah, um, like very much. They they put out an article and stuff. Like they've uh, showed me a lot of support. Well, I did go like no way. I went back in like 2014, 15. I don't even know. But yeah, I went back. I did go back one time. We had a show in Orlando, and, mm. I, and I definitely I went. And you went back to the campus. Body. Do you feel like you needed like looking back on it now? How impactful was college and your and what you do? Damn, I don't want to make the schools. Sound bad. Just honestly. Uh, uh. The first instinct he was going to say, fuck school. <laughs> <laughs> and he didn't want to sound like a dick. Uh, see, yeah, see, because it's like, <laughs> I'm a twin, like I said. I'm a twin, right? My sister made straight A's. Yeah. I told y'all what, what my record yeah. was. So I'm like, and, and I'm like, I got to do something, bro. So I'm like, let me go to school for music. <laughs> yeah, let me show. Yeah. Let me let me let me try that. So I did. So I it it taught me. It did teach me. It did. But with everything, especially with music and entertainment, the real learning is when you touch that shit. Mm-hmm. When you go out, like Experience. I was saying, like when I went to that, yeah. and, and they let me touch it, like there's people behind me, and I'm like making mm-hmm. a beat or doing yeah. something. That's when it start. But they they definitely no. Nah, they introduced me to the Mac. I, they introduced me to Apple. That's what okay. they did. We got they shipped truck. me that fucking MacBook? That changed my life. That's what it was. That's what it was. Yeah, both that of you got changed my life. Damn, okay. I would have never got that, a MacBook, bro. They fronted you the MacBook. Yeah, they front you the MacBook. It's real, it's real dope shit. Like, and they front you the MacBook. You're like, <laughs> so, Say no more. Back in fucking 2007 yeah, that's what it is, or whatever, that was a complete game changer. For sure. Oh, my God. I just remembered that. So though. it was. That's what, shout, out, shout out to Full Sail. Shout out to Full Cell for real. Sorry to shit on you guys, but shout out to Full Cell, man. No, I didn't mean, I didn't, yeah. <laughs> no, I, for me, like, I said, fuck school. Mm-hmm. I fucking hate school. Is there, uh, there's probably, I would imagine, <laughs> is there anybody on YouTube that you you follow that might be, like, really good at, like, teaching people how to get into production and stuff? I'm sure that, you, you probably don't sit around watching this type of shit, no, but. I, I, not, I, I watch, I like watching my favorite producers just in the studio. They don't mm-hmm. even got to show me their tricks. Like, I love those old videos just, like of Kanye watching, just, back yeah, in the day. Or watching like Neptunes or Pharrell in yeah. the studio or like even Zaytoven. Or it. So I just like watching my favorite artists and producers in the studio. So I'll be like, all right, that's, that's mm-hmm. cool. I kind of I can kind of see and hear what's going on. But um, on like, there's a couple of dudes. I think this dude named Heimbach or some shit on YouTube. Mm-hmm. He be, he, he'll kind of show you shit. But it's really more intro to like equipment. Yeah, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I told you I'm like a hippie, bro. I just like yeah, the shit, yeah. like letting shit. Is the me, is the me. business side? Does that like frustrate you at all, or do you like have a good system for it? At this oh point, yeah, I that shit imagine? sucks. Like, but what you just said at this point, I got a good system going and shit. It's the early stuff that's crazy, bro. Separate like, yourself from it. Like best way. early, bro, you really got to pay attention to be on your shit. Like, thank God I was blessed. My early, my homies who helped me out early, Tunde and Sean, they run a big ass company, LVR right now. They found me a good lawyer. I was just about, I was going to sign some bullshit. Like, 
when I first made my first song, Make It Rain, I was three people tried to sign me. One person tried to sign me for like two bands. Yeah, and it would have been like all my shit, like props and everything. Like two bands, one person. I almost signed for like five bands one time. They almost had me because I was broke, bro. I was like. Some Wayne's World shit. Here's $5,000. Like, Damn, five. Like, I almost took it and not even knowing the importance of everything, but I didn't take it though, thank God. And I ended up finding like a good lawyer. And, like, we waited and like, we figured shit out. But I know a lot of people that probably didn't have that perk that I had. Like, so all the early producers and artists just. I feel like the blueprints are out now. Like, you can go on YouTube and figure this shit out. Yeah. Like, Look at all this. Watch all the scary videos. Like I feel like all my life I watched behind the music and Driven and all those shows that used to come on. Yeah. And like, what else? Behind? It's a e true Hollywood yeah. stories. All them shit. So I'm like, don't be that guy. Don't exactly. That guy. Where do you fuck up? I just always remembered that. Like, yeah, don't be that. Like I'm seeing this for a reason. Just, just to try not to make those. like the TLC one. Like they're actually broke. Yeah, they got them, ripped off in a horrible record deal. Fuck, like, yeah, so them, that, that always stuck with me. So I'm like, yeah. And like, really, I don't even, I don't know. The music business is the music business. But make sure you on your shit, though. Just yeah, make be sure smart. you on your shit, though. I always assume everybody's trying to get better, get over on you. And you're going to blow your first check, whether you like it or not. Just make sure you blow it on the right shit. Stuff that you could maybe sell back if you go fuck up. Like, my first, first check, I blew like, Two hundred thousand, but I bought all music equipment though. Oh, that's right. good. That's what I'm saying. I had to, I bought a studio, and I bought that's I, a great I had, thing, yeah, I had yeah. all the equipment I wanted. I went, but I spent everything though, like Ooh. every like literally everything. Like oh shit, <laughs> but that was your investment. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. So is far. that the same shit you work with now? Some of it, a lot, like a lot of it, I like leveled up from you know gotcha, what I mean gotcha. I ended up giving it to another studio I, g- I gave it to Charlie actually in his studio oh no like, shit yeah, yeah. That's, a go- that's a full circle right yeah, there man circle, I love yeah, that man. so speaking of the early the early days I looked up some of your shit because obviously when when we do episodes with people I actually have met and or know it's a little different but hey man what was your dad like it's different It's mm-hmm. and I'm also not going to ask that when we're smoking weed I'm like hey man how, how, what was your family like that's the most awkward sh- conversation I ever heard, right? So this shit is what I want to ask. I looked up a little bit of stuff. Don't want to read into it too much because I want to hear from you. Your first big tour that you went on, it, I read it said Iggy Azalea. Yeah, I guess it was. Nah, because I, I used to do her like early music too, like Slick Founder. Like, that shit was like an accident. Like, I was working with this producer. He had just worked, made like a Beyonce song or some shit, so he was like popping, but like... He used to let me come to his studio and shit. So I just used to be in there watching and shit. Sometimes they'll let me click a button and shit. But um, uh. this artist come through from, she at, before then, I don't know she I don't know where she came from, like Texas or something. But like, yeah, she came and everything. We we kicked it. Like, we were just kicking it in the studio. I was helping her make music and everything. And then I linked her with this other chick. Because like, she needed like, she needed like, she needed like some a, a country girl to be around her. Like, who know shit, like, <laughs> who just know the world, you know what I mean? Because okay. she was, like, from Australia and shit. I linked them. She kind of schooled her on shit. This guy, you know what I mean? Showed her around. They started making random YouTube videos. We started making more and more music. We split from the other producer I was working with. Some bullshit happened. Like, he wasn't paying me or some shit. Some crazy shit happened. My headphones went off. Anyway, we, uh. Do they unplug? I got it. Good. All right. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> we we split apart from the, that random producer guy. Oh yeah, I remember her mom was sending money from Australia or something to pay me, and the guy was keeping it. Mm. Like yeah, it was crazy. Some sneaky so shit. I was like, yo man, forget that dude. Mind you, I'm still broke. You ain't got nothing. Bro, random. We used to record this like tra- like Charlie and Travis Porter turned a, co- a old chocolate factory. It's funny. His name is Charlie. Charlie? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No lie, you can ask him, you gonna see this shit. What the fuck? It was in like it was in like right outside of downtown in Atlanta, like ten minutes out of Atlanta. Like it was this random small little house, like a little chocolate factory house thing. And we made a studio in there. And like 
But that, uh, I brought Iggy through one time. They like they didn't even know who she was that time. And at that, that, that day time, they were lit, especially in Atlanta. Like, a, I think not a ladies making rain was still, like still up or something like that. We used to record in this little chocolate house, bro. <laughs> even down to one time we in there recording, a lady comes in like. Can I buy some chocolate? Like, Get the fuck. She tried like thinking you an old lady thinking <laughs> oh, it's still the chocolate shut down factory. German chocolate factory. And nah, shit. we ain't here smoking gas. We smoking gas, <laughs> making bees and shit. Like, what are you talking about, lady? That's like, a fucking culture shock for that lady right there. <laughs> so yeah, fast forward, she ended up moving to LA. That pussy song come out. That shit go up. Like she was working with a couple other producers too, and um, that shit went up, bro. And I was just around, and she needed like somebody to play the music. Yeah. So you went on tour. Yeah, and we went on tour. Was that like, like the first one? Like, I guess yeah, it's first time out the country and shit. I went to like, oh shit, yeah, I went all through. I I I know of this 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 girl. I don't know any songs. Yeah, I'm not gonna pretend. This not, like, but it's not I'm nothing. This was fan. completely random. This dot like this is another thing that I, I try to tell my homies and like who make music and younger dudes, bro. You never know what's gonna put you on. The shit you thinking is the complete opposite uh-huh. is what's going <laughs> to yeah, put exactly. you on. Like, 100%. In my dreams that I used to have, I thought like Pharrell was going to call me one day or yeah. Timbaland and be like, it's time, young man. <laughs> yeah. It's time to pass the torch. <laughs> <laughs> Fly to Miami. It's time. We about to do this shit. I didn't think friend. it was going to be like, and like, I'm, I'm happy it's like this, but yeah. I didn't think it was going to be three with my random homies from the east side of Atlanta. Who we were gonna make platinum songs with, like and shit, like I never would have thought that. Like mm-hmm. I'm, like I'm saying, I'm glad it happened. Down to her, like I was just trying to figure out how to work at this studio. I was working for them. I wasn't getting money that I was supposed to get because her mom was sending it. She didn't even know me. So then we were like, let's just go somewhere else. And then shit just happened fast. Like it wasn't even like trying, like. I can't even explain. It was meant to be at that it's point. It's just shit happening. Like, bro, like, you never know what person is going to help you. Like, you never fucking know. You never fucking know. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, it's just, I just. Like, happen. rapper? Oh, where? Australia. Yeah? White chick. Like, huh? <laughs> like, what the fuck? You about to blow up for real? <laughs> Sick. <laughs> no, I get it. No, Write yeah, it all down bro, on paper. Like, like, you're fucking lying to me. That, no, that's what I'm saying. If you somebody was talking to me, I'm like, huh? I'm like, bro, what are you talking about, dog? Shut up, bro. <laughs> No, Tim Lynn gonna call me tomorrow, dog. Uh-huh. Shit, what are you talking about? <laughs> so, yeah. The complete opposite of what you were expecting, basically. Yeah. That's why I be trying to like, dog, yeah. ain't what you think. Like, I was in there like, yeah, this, like, this is it. Like, like dog, nah, dog, nah, I didn't, like, nah, bro. Like, and not mm. even doubting her or talking. Like, I just, I was just there just helping out, yeah. trying to be in the studio mm-hmm. with random shit. Exactly. Like, just trying to be there. It's trying to work. Yeah. We preach that on the show all the time. Like, don't worry about, like, how. Just know, like, where you want to <laughs> yeah. be. And just yeah, leave, really leave stuff. room for whatever is going to happen. Just do positive things as much as you possibly, possibly can. Just do what you that. do. Do the work. Yeah. Do the work. Do the work. And like you said earlier, money doesn't can't beat your morals. Mm-hmm. Like earlier, you said that's your one of your regrets. Like, I wish I wouldn't take that shit because you could have had a different song. So I I see where you're saying, especially looking back now, like you could have signed a horrible deal. All these you could have smoked that meth instead. Oh yeah, I could have smoked. There's oh, a lot of different God, things that could have happened, crazy, man. Bro. <laughs> so hold on, hold on, real quick. First time out the country, you're on tour. How was that? Do you have any anything you take away from that? Any experience that you could think like, hey man, the first time I went out the country, I fucking fought a guy. He was eight feet tall. I don't know. <laughs> There's always something, bro. Somebody. This whole shits and. Mm. Throws them at Danny Duncan doors. <laughs> he hates me right now. He hates me so bad. <laughs> First time in London. No, that might have been safe. The first? Long story short, somebody tried to drug it tried to drug Iggy, oh, but she man. don't drink. I drunk the bottle. I drunk the bottle. Oh, <laughs> I got man. drugged. I was in the next club, like doo, 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 doo. No. hit the ground. And then all I remember my friend picking me up and putting me in a taxi with these random British bitches and that was it. Go to hospital? Nah. Oh shit! He just took you home in the in the taxi. Nah, they just took me somewhere. I don't know where I was at. I still don't know where I was at. I didn't have money or nothing. I was broke at that time too. Yeah, I, it was crazy. They just shipped you off. It's kind, of, yeah, kind of, yeah. But luckily, I'm a big black dude. I can find my way back <laughs> somehow. <laughs> find my way back. There's not a lot of the guys that look like me here. <laughs> just spawned in. Find it. Just like yeah. yeah. 
Find the studio. And shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Completely passed out, dog. Hit yeah, that's so yeah. dangerous. I just put me in a taxi with three bitches. And fuck. I woke up. Did she realize that you took her intended fucking roof? Nah, I'm probably later, but yeah. I saved your life. Yeah. <laughs> For real? You're out here being the bodyguard and shit? I was a bodyguard, bro. Unknowingly? The drug tester. I fuck with that. What's up with that job, bro? I know 62 people just volunteered right now in the chat. They must have got the whole bottle. I can't forget. It was a whole bottle of Ciroc, bro. Damn. You drank the whole shit? Nobody no, else I mean, drank out of it? I mean, not because she don't drink at all. So, and uh, excuse me. at that, like, we, we don't, like, she, I'm I'm pl- pretty private, too. If if you're not with me, with me, I don't really need you around me. So, we probably, it was probably, like, bottles and bottles and bottles and bottles. Damn. Like, Damn. yeah, and I just happened to pick the one with the woo-wop in it. Yeah. <laughs> So that's a good story, that's I guess. It's not horrifying. fine to info tall guy, but uh, that's fucked up. Could have woke up in hostel or some shit. That shit. Oh happened. yeah, that yeah, that would have been. <laughs> that's that like, scares the fuck out of me. Yeah, uh, we've talked about it before, but that shit happened to me too. Opposite, I was at. I won't say where. I was at a strip club. The lady seemed so nice. I ordered a fucking drink. It was for my fucking girl. Fucking, they tried to roofie me. I think the thought was by myself. Oh shit. Dude, we're just sitting there. 20 minutes later, she's like fucking almost throwing up past now. Like, what the fuck? We didn't drink. You can't drink at this place. There's a fucking lemonade. So, yeah, it almost happened to me, too. Mm-hmm. Spike the non. Uh, that's brutal. That's, that's fucked up. It was a <laughs> lemonade, man. Hey, man, stop whopping the drinks, y'all. This is crazy. Stop, man. If I ever feel dizzy in a nightclub, I'm running straight out into the street and screaming. <laughs> I don't give a fuck, bro. Stop whopping the drinks, bro. <laughs> Jumped out the window. Um, <laughs> All right, so uh, one one thing uh, Omar asked me to ask you, he said there's a story involving you, Post Malone, and Wiz Khalifa that I should ask about. Funny ass story. Oh, All shit. right, did you you we've clarified that he's credited for discovering? Oh, Post Malone, that right? was my next thing. All right, you know, let's go into that first. Go for it, Marty. First of all, I don't know anything about that except that. So I, <laughs> I just remember Omar telling me, like, "Yeah, Post Malone." Yeah, yeah. When I walked in that studio, I'm like. It's a big record. All right, cool. Mm-hmm. So that's what the, that's what I was talking about, and then he told me about post because yeah, yeah. I Germ Jill is a first. Per, y'all know if you remember Germ. That's my boy. Yo, you know Germ? Man, shout out. Hey, Germ, man. nice. I haven't seen you in a minute, motherfucker. Hey, man, shout out Germ. He's Germ was around early, all them early times. Every he put me on to every. Yeah. It was like three weeks old, and he's like, "Check this out. It's called White Irish." And I'm like, "This shit's hard." He goes, "Watch him blow the fuck up in like two months. He's gonna be the biggest artist." Mm-hmm. That's what he told me. I was at his a. Uh, Apartment right there off the five or off the one one ten right there, when he was all with Pink Diamond still. That's how long ago this was, and that's the first time I ever heard of him. I heard of McConan there, and then I heard of oh, I can't remember else. It was a Future. First time I ever heard Future was with Jerem Jilla. Hey. So how did you discover this long haired ass kid? So I pull up to uh, Stevie B Studio. <laughs> I want my 18th birthday. That was my concert I went to. Stevie B. I pull up to Stevie what B. What the fuck? I pull up to Stevie B studio, bro. <laughs> I'm saying, That's you know, so throwback, like, bro. Right, right. Random. I didn't even know it was Stevie B studio. He oh, I there. thought you meant no, like, no. yeah, I called Stevie oh, B. No, no, he said, come no, no, to my no. studio. He was there, though. Wow. He, he was there. He was there. But so I pull up to Stevie B studio. I meet him like, all right. Oh, because I knew, because I knew his songs and they're like, so Cause like from yeah, from my parents and shit, and he, them shits was going, them shits jamming really, still jamming, like still jamming. Forever, them shit hard as get fuck, sampled forever. all the time. Yeah. So anyway, that's Stevie B Studio cooling. My partner JB there, he was like, "Hey man, uh, my partner rap or whatever." I'm like, "All right, time to come through." So he pull up. Never forget, he had like this random yellow Yankees jersey. I'm like, "Damn, that shit hard or random cool." When like he was like rapping like but he was rapping hard though like shit it was just fire shit he was just saying real like drippy shit like real fire shit i'm like all right so yeah we got to start cooking or whatever fast forward we start cooking 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 he was like yo you should move into the crib in la because he was like staying with his friend or whatever shout out to him too he's staying with his friend he was like we could just make my bedroom a studio bro really we really made it a studio I was in the closet, sleeping in the closet, bro, like dead ass. And it was it was crazy. Still smoking a hundred cigarettes. Don't know how he got them, but he was still smoking hundred. <laughs> <laughs> he was still smoking a hundred cigarettes. Yeah, we just started cooking in there. We started meeting so many like 
so many people. His manager now, Dre, he started pulling up. Like everything just started like just forming. Like it was it was it was amazing. I didn't even fully know what was happening, but I but I could feel it or whatever. Long story short, we make White Iverson. Boom. That's like a year, that's about a year later, a little less than that, maybe. Right after that, Wiz Khalifa tells us to come to his house. <laughs> Mind you, Post smokes 100 cigarettes. I smoke 100 blunts wherever we go. We're like the tag team, like the Dudley Bros when it comes the to smoking. The Dudley Bros, <laughs> damn. <laughs> the Dudley Bros is smoking, bro. So we at Wiz Khalifa house. He ain't even there yet, I feel like. He's not even there. His engineer let us in. We like listening to beats or something, listening to beats. I don't know if I was playing beats. We cooling. Wiz comes, like, he's just kind of thrown off a little bit, that's everybody up. He's cooling for, like, a minute, then just leaves. Like, we didn't even know he left, bro. He just left. Like, we still there looking for beats, like, out uh, two hours later. Hour later. <laughs> <laughs> bro left. He couldn't handle the smoke, bro. You guys are smoking inside? Yeah. His house? I mean, in the studio. Yeah. Cigarettes? In uh, oh. blunts. That's something the engineer, yeah. though, right? Like, you should have said, like, man, hey, what's going to come in here? Hey, man. I post strictly smokes <laughs> joints, too. You can't, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't tell that. You can't, you can't tell uh, post not smoke a cig, man. Oh, uh, okay. That's crazy smoking cigs inside. I don't know. It ain't 1982. <laughs> <laughs> and I was smoking big blunts, dude. Uh, I can handle that. I can handle bro, that. Bro, 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 yeah. I cig just makes me feel I like never that. saw him again. I never saw yeah. him. I never saw Wait, him again. He never came back? I've never seen him again. I think I saw oh, him. Oh, in general. I think I saw him again for the first time at post listening to for his new album. Like a couple months ago? Yeah, I never saw him again since then. Yeah. <laughs> he hates yeah. you guys. Like those fools stink, bro. Don't bring them over here. <laughs> I've never seen a fool smoking a cigarette in a fucking studio before. That shit Ooh. is fun. That shit's crazy. That's some Frank Sinatra shit. Yeah, exactly. yeah, it is though. That's what's yeah. pretty fire. Like yeah. he, I've seen he 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 damn he be damn near be smoking cigarettes everywhere. Fuck. So that's how you discover this kid, right? That's yeah. a that's a trip. What are I'd the like odds to hear of that? that. Yeah, bring him over. Is he, is he from LA originally or no? Nah, he's, he's from, from Texas. the South or some oh, shit. Man. Oh, Texas. Okay. Damn. That's a trip, man. I love to hear that, though. Like, all that shit, sleeping in the closet, just that year that it took. He really did grind. He, he was grinding that bitch out. He really did mm-hmm. grind that bitch out, for real. And was figuring shit out. Oh, and then we had, like, we had some bitches over and shit. And this one black girl braided his hair. And. I thought it was a South by Southwest interview. I remember that one. It was real, like, the very beginning. And Jeremy was showing me, and I looked him up. Braided his mm-hmm. hair. And you know it's the power. It's power in the hair. <laughs> he was feeling it. So did that art? Did that come after the I'm title? Saying, no, I'm saying he made. The, I'm saying he made the song. Oh, he after the, the braids. Song, yeah, oh bro. shit! It, it Iverson braids. Wow. Okay. All right. I like mm-hmm. it even more now. God damn. damn! Look at that haircut. Mm-hmm. Super cuts. Where the fuck you at, man? You could be putting on <laughs> artists out here. What the fuck? You just slip. <laughs> damn. Yeah, man. He made a classic. Mm-hmm. Good shit. You never know. I'm like you said. You never know what's gonna fucking do it. And that was just dead ass kicking it. Like and then, yeah. And yeah. The little Quick question. Event How do you like this weed? I haven't tried it yet today. It's my first time trying this weed. I'm digging it. I'm digging. It's what is cool. It? It's a Skittle Cross. A Skittle Cross. I dig it. Yeah, it's, it's all right. Right. Mm-hmm. I used to only smoke OG. So this is this is a cool. Would you consider up. yourself a weed snob? Yes, but I've been in positions where I've had to smoke bad weed before. And it was I don't I don't. I don't like it. It's things I regret. <laughs> <laughs> we get that life. If I could go back. Rio de Janeiro, you have the worst weed ever. No, really? You know what? That's true. Brazil, Tokyo. I have a lot of fans send me brick, brick weed pictures. Yeah. I'm not saying it's all bad. Smoke it. It's just. I got a s- sore throat two oh, hours after no. smoking it. Like, like locked up. Like. I've had some bamboo that makes my my. But I do love Rio. Shout out to everybody in Brazil. I fuck with Brazil, but fuck the weed. (laughs) You know, there's eight people gonna comment. You didn't just come to the right spot, and they're fucking sending me fire pictures. I bet. I bet. Mm -hmm. Obrigado. (laughs) Write it down. Thank you. I think that's thank you. (laughs) Obrigado. Yeah, right. The please. That shit sounded Japanese. (laughs) Be honest. Not Japanese is uh. Damn, I forgot. But I have no idea. They, I, I did. I found some. 
I'm like, oh, never mind. No, I know I didn't find no weed in Japan. No, you didn't. <laughs> no. I don't smoke in Japan. Japan's, Ain't got Japan's fake. Yeah. There's no weed there. Yeah, no weed. There. No I laws broken. Yo, Japan's scary. Don't smoke weed in Japan. Yeah, I, I'm blocked in Russia and can't watch any of my shit in Russia. They don't fuck with weed at all in Russia. Mm. <laughs> they don't fuck I'd with be me. Scared. I'm scared in America with weed. I'd be scared. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. All right, so. Whoa, oh fuck! I had a question. I was just about to ask you. I didn't write it down. Like, I won't forget it. So I forgot you, it. So like, what's what's the next? We know you've been out on these like studio sessions where you're having everybody come through. Is there like a project that you're working on? Is there something like in the next year? Like you're talking about stepping up to be the actual the artist mm-hmm. and the producer that is going to be coming out. Yeah. Um. I just actually released a project called Last Player Alive. Last yeah, Player Alive. Yeah, I'm, I'm the last one alive, man. Excuse. So it's Chris getting crazy out here, bro. You don't know, y'all know what it's like out here, bro. You know what it's like from him, a victim. So I'm just, tell, I'm just letting everybody know what it's like to be the last player alive. Nah, it's just a crazy, crazy life. You're talking to two dudes that been with their girls for like fucking thirty years combined here. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you. thank you for the info and shit. Yeah, man, it's all, it's all, it's all there, man. It's, it's all there. Where can they find that at? Of course, YouTube iTunes, Apple Music. And is it FKI title. first on FK, there? Yeah, FKI okay. first, last player alive. What is what does FKI first stand for? Forever kicking it. Oh shit. Okay. Love it. I like the title like First Time in London. Bam, that's an album. First time in fill the blank. That's tough. The reason my name is first is because I'm a twin. That's one name. Oh, no! Shit. Get the fuck Man, out of here. I was born first. Damn. <laughs> First, fuck your grades. First. Yo, just, I love that, dude. When did you take that moniker on? Early on, just rubbing it in and shit? Like. Yeah, well, when I was young, my nickname Randon was Trokey. Trokey? Yeah. Like some Matilda shit? <laughs> the Chokey. That's what. That's the first second thing I heard. <laughs> How did you get the nickname, man? <laughs> Wait, what happened, in, what happened in Matilda, bro? Matilda, remember the Chokey? They fucking put him in the box that had nails in it? His name was Chokey? No, it no, was called it was the, the Chokey. Hole. Oh, the hole with nah. the nails, Miss Trunchbull? Nah, shit. mine was Trokey. Like, How and why? My first, Now, nah, my first name is like uh, Troco. Oh, that's, your, that's how you say it? Troco. Oh shit! Damn, you say it all with the inflection. Yeah. I was spelling it too at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, they, so yeah, my sister's called me Trokey. I gotta ask, <laughs> what did your sister go on to do? Having all those crazy ass. Well, I was wondering that. Great. Oh, great. She, she snapped. She snapped. Um, she worked at Google for a minute. Damn. Okay, so she did yeah. some shit. Yeah, yeah, she snapped. Yeah. Um, did you ever make fun of her? Like, look what we're doing. But I didn't try hard in school. Oh yeah, you had yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would be talking mean. shit. How, like how good were all those grades? Really break it down. I really just been sliding like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like cruising really this whole time. Yeah, in it, bitch. Like, <laughs> thank God. But um, but that go back to being the last player alive. If you listen, I could show you how to do that too. I could mm. show you how to slide. Like, you know what mm. I mean? Yeah. You know, yeah, I can show you how to slide through. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, damn, she did all that studying and shit. That's what I'm saying. He's she like, was, well, she was, I, she cried when she made like she made like a B or C at UGA. I think she cried. Mm. Oh, she's one of those kids. Yeah. I'm a. If you give me a sixty nine point nine, like I passed. Celebrations. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As long as I'm not in trouble at home. Yeah, and this shit does not matter. Yeah. Like it would not, for some people. Not everybody, kids, is go to yeah, school. Yeah, not everybody. Yeah, not everybody. But some of you motherfuckers to are dumb artists. and need to go to school. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, not for real. But. I feel like at that age, even you kind of just know. Like mm-hmm. I'm not gonna. Have, this isn't gonna be my lifestyle. I can kind of tell. You already knew when they ran out of ninth crazy. grade. When they ran out of school at the, at the school, the football team, I was like, oh yeah, that's it. Oh, oh yeah, last yeah, thing, yeah. real quick. The shit we just saw, Omar showed me. You're making that little beat, looking at the Coliseum, and now that shit's in Coliseums everywhere. That's, that. that's some shit that you could take to your old man like stage. Telling stories like, hey, that song, I fucking did that. No okay. cap. That's real manifestation shit. Like, right there. We were so close to that shit. That's like, kind of odd right they there. made a hotel that close to some ancient shit. That's how it was like. It was like a crib. It was like an Airbnb type shit. Isn't or something. it odd, though? Like, it was just directly right across there. the street. Like, close. Like, close. That's close, where, close, close. Oh, that's where Bruce Lee stayed in fucking Chinese. Conne- is it Chinese Connection where he goes to Rome and he's For in real? the fucking. 
I'm fucking looking it up right Please after this. Ah, what's the fucking movie where it's the chick you with the colored the eyes? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> you want to punch the mic? I know. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Damn, dude. Sorry, I was just that just hitting my head right now. Uh, I'm, I'm fucking high. Anyway, that's cool. Every sports, shit. every sports game in America. In that well, I had no idea. He showed me. Oh yeah, I've heard that everywhere. It's in every fucking arena. Mm-hmm. That's the, the sports song. It's not where the champions anymore. Right back to Queen. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know you were making that for him in that moment, or were you just making a beat and it ended up just going afterwards? I was just making a beat right mm-hmm. there, just looking at that shit. I don't know. That's yeah. I told you I was just be probably mm-hmm. smoking, just faded, looking at it. I don't know. Mm. Mm-hmm. Is that so? Like, what's your normal just workflow? Have, like, oh. is that are you? Is this every day? Like, are you just in the groove of like I'm in the studio at night, I'm making beats. It's just like almost like a five days a week type. Oh of yeah, thing. oh seven. No, this shit don't stop. Yeah. I, it, I'm a maniac when it comes to like the studio and working and shit. It's kind of like I, I feel like it's my like. My African side, kind of all like, but like my my Spanish friends, they'll be like, "Yeah, man, I'm working." You know, I mean, this is how we work, like for real, like that's how I feel. Like my African side, I just like I have to be working, like yeah, I just I feel yeah. you. But even when I'm not, I just have to be around because, like, ideas. Something I have figured out too with this music shit. If you miss an idea, it's gonna go right down the street to the next person. Oh, like, what the fuck? We've been saying that shit. shit. Is like, God, it floats like little waves, like. Like, I even feel like there's producers and a couple artists, I feel like we be thinking the same shit. Like, I feel like we even think, like, it down to the point where we we think we accidentally stole something from each other, but nah, we just on that same wave, bro. Like, mm-hmm. and I'm sure it happens to them how it happens to me. Like, I'll get something, like an idea or some creative idea, whether it's visual or music, and miss. I might miss it. I didn't do it. Or maybe did it and then put it out, but that person on that same wave called it and they, See, and they pop snapped. Up. It's so it weird how up. fucking real it is. Too, yeah, it's so real. Every time you, anybody at home, every time you go, I just thought of that. Fuck, somebody beat me to it. It's because you fucked up and didn't capitalize. So because on it. that happened so many times and it happened to big fire situations, it kind of made me a maniac. Where like I'm not leaving. Anything I got on my mm. brain is coming out. Yeah. I ain't missing this shit, bro. I just, I don't know, it's weird, but. No, that's, that's a great I'm way like to put on it. it. Like, it's like a comedian it's a, writing you, shit it's down. It's an interesting time. thing, though, because you're going back to the same blank drawing board every time you go into like making a new beat. It's like, how do you, you're going back to your same toolbox, you got to pull out different sounds. That's, that's. It's what you're feeling, I think, right? Yeah, it's all feeling. And depending on who's in the room, too, that's why it's good to have fire people in the room, crazy people in the room, like with good vibes, because it could come from just one person saying something. The crazy mm-hmm. thing is when somebody says something serious and I think of a song right when they say something serious and I'm like, ooh, that's hard. I've done it. I've said <laughs> little, 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 little. <laughs> Somebody told me some serious shit. Like, I'm, just, I'm making an example like, Yola. I'm just making an example like, Yola, hold on. Man, my girl's doing this, man. My mind's playing tricks on me. I'll be like, Oh my God, mine's playing tricks on me, nigga. That is hard. But he's like telling me something. I'm like, I yeah. <sighs> it's yeah. like, I do that. It's like crazy. It's fucked up, though. But that's how, it's crazy. Your brain how crazy I'm in that shit, dog. Your brain just works that way. So it's crazy. Yeah, shit. I, I feel bad, yeah. but I write down things. My Sometimes it's serious shit. I always say, I'm very sorry, but I'm going to write it down real quick. Under crazy shit my friends say? <laughs> shit my friends yeah. say. It's called friend talk now on my phone. I've written down some very. My homie told me. My homie, fuck. No, I, I just made it. I Keep just the friend made friend talk it. in the friend talk. No, he told me. I told him, like, I'm going to use uh, it one day. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My, my homie See, I, was I, going. That's what I'm saying. That's why I do it, too. I feel, feel bad. You feel bad. But there's so many situations. You're like, yo, that's that's a, that's hysterical, Wait, though. But let me tell you some fuck shit, though. I know people. This is why it's scary, too, having a lot of people in the room. I'm saying I like having a lot of people in the studio. Because at the same time, how we say we'll tell somebody, that's people who won't tell anybody and just steal it. Like, Oh, and yeah. say like, no, I made it up. Yeah. Oh, bro, that's that must be terrible. Yeah, it is. That's like writing, it's like writing your fucking, your brain out and mm-hmm. everyone's just, maybe I'm recording this shit in my phone. Mm-hmm. That's fucked up. That'll make you better as a producer. Like Marty, he's yeah. like, the whole time listening to his beats, I'm right, ripping it. I've seen yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that. Bro, I've caught producers. I've I've caught producers on my computer, literally, 
dragging stuff over. You know how you can you, in the copy thing is over, yeah. but like they took it down. But like everybody See, left the room. Uh, I'll come back. Later. And it's still transferring to something. I'm like, man, what the fuck? Like, for real, no cap. I literally look at dude, so I'm just like disconnected. I'm like, man, just get out, bro. Like, for what? Real, They're just t- literally taking stuff. Like, that's fuck, weird like, as fuck. It's insane, bro. I don't know. How, I wouldn't be able to sleep though. Like, yo, you love that song, huh? I wish I wrote it. Uh-huh. I wish I made this shit. If you only knew, bro. There's a lot of those, bro. There's a lot of those, bro. That's a fucking bummer to hear. Yeah, man. <laughs> Maybe that's why a lot of fucking songs like that shit sounds like the other shit. But you just can't get jaded, though. That's the thing. You cannot be, get jaded. It's like, because I know people who are jaded, and it's just like, yeah, not a lives. lot of producers. Because most producers aren't actually making enough money to survive through All right, it. Right. So I've seen, like, yeah, you can't get jaded, though. You really got just got to keep believing in your beats and, like, mm-hmm. the intentions. Like, it's the intentions when you make it, kind of like how we're, I was making it in front of the fucking Coliseum yeah. shit. Like, that song, A Ladies, Okay, Not Lady, when we made that song, we literally said, bro, we have to compete with Back That Ass Up. Like, Oh, no like, shit. Bring it back in A Ladies. Like, we literally said that in the studio. We was like, bro, what can we do to beat Back That Ass Up? I'm not saying it beat it or not, but it still plays back yeah. to back with that. To it. Like, mm-hmm. that's how, It's your intentions when you go in and do shit. We literally said it. Like, we yeah. have to. Like, You're looking at, at a classic. For it. Yeah, like, yeah. I like that though. Of this era. Because I always yeah. say, like, what's my cult classic? It's got to be at least as good as this. Like, it's got to make me at least as hyped as fucking Happy Gilmore made me as a kid. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I love that. Like, I always get the feeling, like, I just want people to have that feeling of my thing is like, remember when this football was over and then an hour later the Simpsons came on? I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> like, that's how I want people to feel like, hey, it's Every three Monday. o'clock. Yeah. No, it's, my, it's three o'clock. Our fucking show's coming on. That's. And like you said, I want people to have that feeling of when I first heard fucking another mm-hmm. one bites dust or some shit, whatever. Mm-hmm. I can't remember what song you're talking about, mm-hmm. but you know what I'm saying from Queen. There's so much that you could do with just. I think I've said. I think I said it. Yeah, <laughs> I was gonna say and reiterate the same shit. Yeah, oh, okay. <laughs> I, think I, said it. I think I'll leave it there. I think I'll leave it right there. Yeah, yeah. Um, before we get out of here, man, where can everybody find you? Where can everybody listen to stuff? Where can everybody follow you and support whatever you're doing? Good gas, good job first. That's where everything is. I got all the good gas for you, all the good music, all the collaborations from Jack Harlow to Bees to Draco the Ruler, Ralphie. That's all good gas collaborations. To find me, I'm good job first, Instagram. YouTube? We'll pop it up on first. the screen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like this is why I got a social media manager. <laughs> no, we'll pop it up. We'll find out. Just wanted to ask. Good job screen. first. Follow me, man. Good job first. Goodgas.com too, right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I don't know what answer that was. That the was some African shit right there. That, 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 that was some East African shit. <laughs> I said something. I don't even know. <laughs> you just offended the shit out of a bunch of people. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know what you said? Oh shit! See, I, I said some shit. I was with you until you gave out your fucking website. Goddamn! <laughs> 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 oh shit! Oh, all right. Well, cool, man. Cool, man. Thank you for coming out today. Hold on, wait. What's the? Oh, what is? It's goodguys.com, right? Good guys. Right. Good guys. Good guys. Co. Good guys. Yeah, co. Oh, I thought the clicks was like saying. Yup. Nah. That's why I was like, all right, cool. Good guy. Oh, shit. <laughs> Good dot co. Damn. That's how it translates. Hey, bro. bro, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's a first on the show. Yeah, bro. You ain't never Literally, heard that yeah. Shit. <laughs> you don't know where that from. It's all right. It's from, it's bilingual. <laughs> didn't even know it. Didn't yeah. even know it. <laughs> oh, man. It'd be like that. Channeling shit. Omar, I saw you falling asleep a minute ago. The fool smoked one blunt. He's got he's got no he's got no tolerance left. He wakes where, up to your where are those shark things shit? he be eating, bro? Oh, you want some sharks? Where do, I always see him. Oh, Mark, like stealing. You them. can touch him. You fuck. Can you get the sharks? Yeah, this fool steals all my fucking edibles, bro. Easy, easy to develop a pretty serious. Do y'all have any munchies at all? Are you right kidding now? me? Bro, Hold up, munchies, bro. Hold up. Beep. Not a trip. <laughs> Yeah, that's just a big empty liquor store. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> Bro, Omar shoving 10 sharks in there. Was, there was 30 in there a minute ago, I guess. All right, here we go. Hold on. Oh, shit. <laughs> Sorry, YouTube. Oh, my God. Sorry, YouTube. <laughs> Sorry, YouTube. Hey, here you go. Remember uh, slush puppies from the liquor store? The little dog with the ices. Remember that shit from the liquor store? That's what the fuck it tastes like. Try one. Oh, I thought you were giving me this. I'm like, oh shit. No, bro. it's yours. I'm saying eat one, eat one right now. I got hella shit. I got a hella thousand, head. a thousand. Wow. Only for each. That's HHC, each is, each but is one at one hundred. Oh, the whole I bags. Thought, oh, a thousand. I thought each was a thousand. No, 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 no. No, I wouldn't do that to you. Uh, I won't show this because this is coming out soon. So I'll just show the back of it. <laughs> same, same flavor. Oh, okay. And that shit tastes like a slush puppy. I do. Is that the the new line? Well, never mind. Those are way stronger, so you're good. Just letting you know. <laughs> just in case. Just in case, man. Somebody be high. They're going to get you fucked up. I will say that. You'll be all right. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This shit just got powerful. I just smashed all just my fucking pack of weed by me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. All right. Got some munchies. This shit's fucking bomb, bro. You know what the weirdest thing of all time is my little face is on the back and it trips me the fuck out. <laughs> it trips me out. People would be sending me this shit all over the states. Like, yo, I'm getting high legally. Yeah, so yeah we can ship this shit any state. That's what makes it so dope. Yeah. And if I might add, look at this. The dope crazy ass thing pack, about dude. this, they taste good too. So it's like they don't taste like anything but candy, huh? I'd be careful. Is that your number two? No, same one. Okay, all right. So be, be a little cautious. Look at this fool. I killed the tail. I killed the tail. Smoking that pan. Brand new pan. We're doing a bunch of shit right now, man. Let's go. When are we doing the smoke off? Oh, this is a real question. Before we started, this is the third time he had brought this up, so he's serious. First, wants to have a smoke off with me, but the last time I. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, oh, I know what happened. I know what happened. That happens to me sometimes. I know what happened. <laughs> if you're a real smoker, you know. Sometimes I think smoke is a person coming around the corner. The soundboard. Oh, wait, what? He just scared the oh. fuck out of me. So I just told him myself oh. about smoke coming around. <laughs> smoke. Yeah, no, no, let, me no. tell you, let me tell you some shit about a person. Let me put this back on. Let me tell you some funny ass shit. To all my people with dreads and who smoke weed and shit. Oh, the hair? So it scares look, 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 the fuck out of me. Oh, peripheral? Check this out. Yo. So look. You scared the shit out of me, Marty. Sorry about that. I've oh, been yeah. high as hell, right? And been smoking. It's happened. I don't know if it's the same time or like. Probably if, I'm time. Move, if I'm moving too quick. Like my peripheral disc looks, especially like if it's darkness one lit, Oof, little way. It's just a shadow. Sometimes it looks literally like somebody ran past her. Uh huh. <laughs> and sometimes I might think my hair is tied up behind my head too. Like it's cr like so I'll be like, what the fuck? <laughs> I do a lot of these. Yeah, a lot of a lot of a jumps, lot of those. So, yeah, bro. But what happened to the sound? He put some scary ass sound no. on me. He said, yeah, "You challenge." You said, "I challenge you to the thing," and, and I, I was just. I scared the fuck out of me because I was in conversation, Spence? bro. I didn't think a sound was going to scare the shit out of me like that. That's from Justice. That Justice song, bro. <laughs> that's the Justice song. Of course song. you know. Stress. Oh, shit. Yeah, I, okay. no yeah. I believe you. Yeah, no. That's, that's I believe stock you. suspense sound. Sorry, that scared the fuck out of me. See. It wasn't the smoke. No, my, I got it. my brain is like a jukebox, bro. This shit crazy. He just went, he just went through a database about yeah, two trillion like, songs. <laughs> hold up. Look, hold up. Hold up. If it is, bro. No, I don't know what y'all owe me. <laughs> Hold on. No. 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 It, was the, it was Close. the same fucking sound, though. Was... Oh, no, it ain't. <laughs> Close. Close. That's hard, though. <laughs> Close. It's the, it's the sound with the squirrel. Yeah. Remember that <laughs> meme from my Bean Bombs world? <laughs> with the squirrel that looked over at the Wait. camera? <laughs> that's, the, that's the sound. That's what's wrong. Oh, Trust me, I lived on E-Bombs when I was a kid. That's hard. It scared the fuck out of me. I was in mid-conversation. How did that scare you, though? Because I fucking heard, like, uh -huh. it, it sounded like someone was creeping. I don't know. Yeah, it scared I the fuck it. out of me. I know you I've like scared it. the shit out of him with all kinds of shit. Gunshots, Gunshots are shot, different. Yeah. Oh, oh, shit. Is that a fart noise? That's the fail horn. Oh. My son was just doing this. 
<laughs> None of you guys can hear what's happening right now. Anyway, sorry, this scared oh, right, me. He did scare the fuck out of me, so. I don't even remember what I was talking about, but it scared the shit out of me. Oh. Ugh. Gotta put Westside Gun back on here. Yeah, I know. I was looking for it earlier. Hey, yo! Yo, my hair scares the shit out of me, too, in the, at night. Especially in my room when no one's, but I know no one's next to me. Wait, what does it do? Because my hair's long as fuck when it's not done up. Oh, so oh yeah, when I was fuck. smoking, I do... It, uh, the same shit happens. I do a lot. Oh fuck you! I do a lot of this shit in my house. Oh, fuck yeah, what were we talking about? I'm sorry. We gotta. We gotta you like horror movies? Off. The smoke off. Hell no. You don't. Oh, I love horror movies. That's I hate that's, them, bro. That's why I'm always on my toes too. Because I've been watching. I am on movie. my toes. I've been watching horror movies since I was like five. So like. I don't like. My dad made me watch Chucky as a kid. Yeah, dad, I love Chucky. It scared the fuck out of me as a kid. My sister had porcelain dolls. I slept in the same room. Every fucking night was a horror movie for me, bro. <laughs> Speaking of child's play, that movie and the dog and the fucking doll. My older my older sister had one, and it's just she always had one since she was like, cause she was older, so it was older. It was an older doll, and it was like it was like life size. Life, life size. Me and my twin sister, like we we saw Chucky, like fuck me up. I, I said about a month after we was like, hey yo, we gotta get rid of bro. Like <laughs> we took it and literally threw it in the woods. Like did they get it back though? Did it come back? I don't know. I never. That would have fucked. Oh, me let up. me tell you about that. I always thought one day I was gonna go in the basement. If I'm like, if this bitch is down here, here yeah. bro. Yeah. It's a wrap. <laughs> yeah, it's a wrap. She had hella porcelain dolls. I would put stuff on bro. them, so mm. if they moved, nah. I would know they right. moved. Yeah, you gotta let them on fire. That's and so goosebumps right. came out. Night of Living Dummy mm. and shit. That shit fucked all that. Those toy shit fucked ruined you, me. To choose your own adventure. On you talking about on Goosebumps? Mm-hmm. You talking about in the book? Yeah, man. Course, and you might. Man. You, did you ever go to a page ahead and check to see if you was going to go wow, out you first? just unlocked no. the fucking... Uh-uh. Yeah. I didn't want to cheat because I knew if wow. I cheated, it's like <laughs> skipping ahead in a movie and I don't want to fuck it up. Me and this girl would just talk about that. I, was, yeah. I fuck with Goosebumps heavy I was as like, a kid. I was like, I'm, you guilty. She was guilty. She was guilty? I did it like one time, no, <laughs> but... What you know about that? Turn to page 67. Turn to page 102. You're a bitch. I Remember that shit in school? <laughs> <laughs> No, why didn't I do that though? But you, you don't remember people doing that shit? No, bro. I would follow it all the end. Bad, You're whack. I'm like, oh, 40 pages, fuck. So if I could go back in time, I want to go back in time just to do that, bro. Hell yeah. I'm just playing. No, that's not what I would want to do. If I went back in time, I don't know. I so definitely bad. would win more fucking marble poison oh, games. Shit. Those fucking, some of those Asian kids, man, when I was a kid. I wasn't good at that. I, I'm, yeah. No, that's what I'm saying. They, they were, yeah, yeah, yeah. all the, my whole group, remember I told you, yeah. my whole group of the, like these group of Asian kids I used to play marbles with every day. But I'd steal these so I'd crack their shit. But if not, they would win. <laughs> Poisons on two shots? Fuck you. That's like a par fucking two. Wait, Yo, what happened right now? You remember marbles, the poison, you dig a hole in the ground, if you make it in there, you, you get the marble that's next to you. I you thought keep you were them. doing the finger pops. No, bro, I'm talking about the marble. Oh, nah. I thought you were talking about the game where either what? you break a pencil or you hit the other kid's hand until they, until you, they give up. What game is this? What do you guys play with the quarters? It, yeah, we do that. Like when Bloody Knuckles. I play Bloody Knuckles. Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm saying. We finger pop. I never even seen that like, game. Like, yeah, keep hitting the fin- your other person's finger until they can't do it anymore. Never saw that. Yeah. And like, ah. Or you break a pencil. Oh, one. hell no. I never played that. Oh, they, you ever, you get, that was the mm-hmm. dumbest game, the ABC game. With the eraser, my town's mm. dumb. You take the eraser off a pencil and, and try to do as many ABCs Ow. as you can, and the kid that got the longest wins. There's fools bleeding. No, like, that's the dumbest game I ever saw. Fucking ghetto's whack. Talk about my game. Play. That was crazy. <laughs> I know, but I, I didn't play it. I would never play that we game. Just erased our flesh off. The ABC game it was the dumbest shit I ever saw. That's what it was called. Or the you miss a free throw, everybody beats your fucking ass until you go touch the pole. Did you ever play that? That sucked. Um, that shit sucks. When you play football in the street, um, in the side of the grass, sideline bus. You can hit them under the gap. Yeah, we do sideline bus, bro. <laughs> so we'll be on concrete, but the sides the side will be yards. So it's like, if you catch that shit and you on, and you on the side, it's your ass blitz. <laughs> and blitz was out. The game blitz was out. Oh, blitz so was that's where shit. we got it from. Uh-huh. So sideline bus, if you was on the sideline, that's your ass. I always try to stay in the middle, try to be oh, Randy of course, Moss. Randy Ma- Everybody looked up to Randy Moss. If you, how old are you? Uh, 31. Oh, so we're the same, we're the same shit. Mm-hmm. Randy Moss was the fucking man. And when he fake mooned everybody and did, oh, man, he was the fucking man with that Sharpie. And, or no, was that was Terrell Owens with the Sharpie, huh? Mm-hmm. Or was it Randy Moss with the Sharpie? When he signed the, 
when he that's took his sharpie at his, at, his, at his ankle, right? It was mm-hmm. Tyrone. Oh, yeah, 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 he was a sure. fucking monster yeah. for a while. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'm know, assuming we, you're a Falcons We got him fan. for a year on, when man. he was like 50. So I had to ask, just Falcons, <laughs> Buffalo. Yeah. I'm from fucking California. I'm a Packers fan, so I had to ask, man. Uh-huh. I miss Julio, but. Julio Jones? Mm-hmm. Falcons mm-hmm. had it for a while, man. Falcons mm-hmm. were good for, like, Matt Ryan was like a little Peyton Manning for a few years, and then he just started mm-hmm. falling the fuck off. Sorry, Rat Ryan. I know you're a fan. <laughs> you just called him Rat Ryan. <laughs> Did I? No, I said Matt Ryan. All right. Damn. <laughs> Disrespect. Should get my ass beat. <laughs> <laughs> this tall white man. Oh, it's fucking Matt Ryan. He's gonna beat my fucking ass. You never know, man. Because I'm gonna meet Brett Favre one day. Yeah, still. It might be with Matt Ryan. It uh, might not be a good. What does Matt situation. Ryan sound like? You know, I don't even know. Mm. Like a like a lawyer. Mm. Hi, Paralegal, probably. Here to whoop your ass. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> And throw a pick three no. times in a row. All right. So, all right. Thank you, thank you for being here, bro. We're about to get on some garage FaceTime conversation shit. No, I appreciate it, man. Everybody, it's FKI First, Good Job First, and Good Guess. Co. The Good Guess. Oh, it's The now? Damn. The Good Guess. Remix. Co. Remixed it up. Mid fucking podcast. All right. Damn, I got it. Link in description. Go. All right, guys. Thank you so much. <laughs> Appreciate you. It's from the candy, man. It's all over me. Thank you for being here. Thank you for smoking it up. So the smoke off smoke coming off. soon. All right. I say we start off with half zip joints. Do one of those. And if you're down for the, if you don't want to do the hash, we got to think of some creative shit for this weed because enough weed. We're, we're going to go through ounces. All right. You know, so we got to make it fun coming soon. All right, we gotta get those rules right. We gonna, we gonna yeah, we it, have we to. Because yeah. I can't smoke a pack. I, just can't, I can't smoke papers like that, bro. Then that's fine. We'll trade. You, that's the one. Oh, <laughs> given. We, oh, we just keep going bad. No, no, I can't. No, I'm saying we tr- like that's the trade off. Like you can smoke your your backwards. I'll smoke my joints because you can't. We can't. Fl- I can't. Yeah, flip we it. can. We got, come on, bro. <sighs> smoke that's tobacco. Man. Smoke go. Smoke. What about smoke. what about hemp hemp blunts? Hemp blunts is okay. They my make lungs will look like that after, after Oh yeah, blunts. we can do those. Like yeah, them hemp thing or hemp blunts. I've seen one them wraps, or yeah. I've seen them banana papers, banana leaf papers. Or oh something. yeah, yeah, uh, palm leaves too. Yeah. If somebody could pre pre roll them or something, I got a shit load. There's, there's a box right there. I got a bunch of them. Oh, let's go. All right, all right. Smoke off. Smoke off. This is aggressive. It's coming. Never it's had coming. A I've never had somebody come so fucking from my neck before. Oh, let me tell you. Two years running now. Oh, let me tell you, bro. I've been getting the word around town. Ta- word around town is, I'm up there, smoking <laughs> with Snoop Dogg, Mike oh, Dean, and shit. Oh shit! I'm just telling you. All right. Other people tell like, hey yo man, only people know people I know who smoke like that is Snoop Dogg, and Mike Dean. I'm like, okay. It's a good category to be in. So what's up? I'm oh, I'm ready. There's yeah. a category of ex meth dealers Ooh. that I know can smoke a lot. <laughs> smoke, go, smoke. I'm smoke. ready. I'm ready for it. Guys, coming very soon. We'll come to the channel. Let's we'll do go. some shit. Smoke off. Coming soon. I like the sign out. The Richard Nixon sign out. Oh, no. Don't tell me Richard Nixon. <laughs> I, did, did. Richard Nixon. I did do it, though. Oh, you man. went a little high. <laughs> Bro, it's, the, <laughs> it's the Talladega yeah. Nights train. Yeah, I'm about to be. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for being here, man. Thank you for smoking it up. Yeah, Marty. Sure. This shit was amazing, you. bro. Oh, yeah. Cross the table. Appreciate it. That's a you fuck down. I'm not I know, tall. I got, I got KD on. I am not tall. <laughs> Jesus. You just reached over your side of the table and shit. Table. <laughs> <laughs> Can't play air hockey with this motherfucker ever, bro. <laughs> Bro, He's so a hard. menace at Chuck E. Cheese just dropping a in and shit. I would go crazy on yeah. them. It's hard for me to do push-ups, too. I'm like KD, bro. It's like my arm's long. I got. I feel like it take a long. It's hard for like, me to do push-ups. <laughs> <laughs> it's so far. I'd be like, Yo, damn, little ground The pros and cons to being tall, mm-hmm. I think you got it, though. I'm, I'm I think like, you shit. win. It's you win. Far, bro. You win, bro. I think that I can see shit. I can't do push-ups well, though. Like, I'll take the fucking I can see over motherfuckers. <laughs> That's Y'all, thank you, thank you for being here, Marty. Thank you for fucking thank being you. here. Jesus Christ! All right, thank you so much, man. This has been uh, another episode of the Dope Usual Podcast. I'm Thomas Dopeziola. Have a dope ass day. Ah, uh, that that's fucking ridiculous, bro. I know, I know for sure. After some edibles, we would be here for three hours. I already feel a whole second oh, podcast before. before like, I'm saying we would have been here forever, man. I know it. It would have kept going. Reggie's right, been telling me about these. Yeah, he's been fucking thievering. He's been stealing all my shit. Look at him rubbing his hands like a like a guy that's gonna get over he on. He did him. the Birdman. Oh yeah, it is the Birdman. <laughs> yes.
Yes! Get out of here. Try these. Eat these. So we're all right. I didn't. Want, I can't say it online. We're gonna be the first people in the fucking history. We're about. To